Peace, y'all. Hold on. We might need to resituate some things. Peace. How is everybody doing today? I hope you're doing lovely. I hope you're feeling good. I'm feeling good. Baby, can you make sure you turn the air off for me? We're back over here. I feel like I'm yelling. I'm doing good. I know y'all probably like Quita. Why do you got that bandaid on your face? I don't even want to talk about it. I had to beat her up. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Couldn't get my food the other night. Last mm. night, actually, that was. Things got a little violent. Anyways, um, my skin is gone on my lips, so I just don't feel comfortable until it grows back. And it was bleeding pretty bad, so I'm just going to wait before I... Oh, but peace everybody first of all let us just start by saying thank you again auntie thank maddie. you so much auntie to maddie. auntie maddie, auntie maddie. because auntie we got maddie. our you baby got stroller in you got a husband auntie maddie <laughs> if you, if you do, you carlos talking about too. carlos gonna say when we got this we need to fly, um, Auntie Maddie out. we need to fly Auntie Maddie out here to see us. Take her to a nice little chicken steak dinner. <laughs> chicken dinner, I ain't gonna feed her no steak. Yeah. stupid. But we're going to, you want to open this first or do the stroller first? We also got some more baby gifts in. For some reason, y'all, I don't know what is going on, but for some, some of y'all that are sending the baby gifts, it's not putting the apartment number on here like our apartment build letter i should say it's not putting it on here so it's ending up at the rent office so i've had to go to the rent or, office two days in a row or the amazon guy he just dropped it off anywhere he huh? dropped one of them off at somebody's house they opened it realized it wasn't theirs and took it to the rent office which i'm grateful that they you know took it but how many other things have we got that we haven't received because the person is not going to give it back or right. And you they know, know they're they keeping it. They know they ain't order no Amazon. Now this rent over here high. People ain't trying to order extra stuff over here. Amazon barely pull up here. So the people are just taking the gifts. They hoping it's something nice. They taking them. But ain't nobody got no babies around here but us on the way. Ain't nobody be carrying no stroller. So they they mad once they open that gift and it ain't nothing but some baby clothes or something like that. They mad. So you know what they do? Instead of taking it to the person's house that it belonged to. Or to the rent office I'll as you should. Up, they throwing it away. They throwing it away, y'all. They throwing it away. They keeping it. I, One heard, of the I, two, got, a, so I got a feeling. Look, every time, I'm gonna tell you something about me. When I get a feeling or something, more than likely, it's on the money. You can ask her. I, you know, she. We all we get all the time. So I be hunching stuff. I be getting hunches on stuff that I shouldn't even have a hunch on. And I be a hundred percent. Maybe 95. You know what I'm we'll show y'all the stroller in a minute. But Open even more. Oh, uh, yeah. Even more exciting. Uncle Q that y'all seen in what? Probably two, three videos ago? Yeah. Probably two, three video lives ago. Mm -hmm. He has decided he's going to purchase the baby's bed for us, which I'm so grateful for everybody. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all don't. Y'all don't understand how easy y'all have made this process of being a new parent. Right. Like, I'm so grateful like, we really don't, don't have don't, much don't, at all don't, don't quote that we that. have to do at this point. Well, easy to say, don't quote me on that now, because, you know, hey. Nah. As far as prepping for him, like, making sure he got everything he need. Here we are, able to Quinn. get... You stupid. Nah, then you, you know. tell me he said he was going to get... He said he was going to get the baby bed, so we're just going to stick with what people say. I don't mean to call And that's the niggas. uncle, so. But niggas change their mind, you hear me? I'm going to send him, once I find the perfect crib, which I've been looking into the mini cribs, the mini ones. I think that that might be the best option because he could sleep in that until he's about one mm -hmm. or two. So that might be the best option for him right now. Um, the mini cribs that I've been seeing you guys promote, and, and I kind of like how small it is. It can kind of fit in that area for me to create him a little cute nursery. Right. But, um... I don't know, my son gonna have a race car bed once he gets... Oh, my God. You want the race car bed, Carlos. Carlos wants the race car bed, so you... I'm not son. Go, let's go. Hop in the car. Hop in the car, son. And then... And break his bed. I'm gonna show him. He gonna be switching gears in that little bed. Watch. My son ready. <laughs> oh, 
get that. He's probably in there moving. Carlos, where's your phone at so we can look at the comments from up here? It, we are pretty far back, so we can't really see the comments. But I think we should open my, up the show my, them the. My phone on five percent. Oh shoot. I think we should show them here. Let's move this box over here, and then you lay your phone on top. We're gonna open up the um. Oh, it's not gonna. Oh. Okay, it's charging. Here, put it up here and still turn the light. Turn it on the light so I can see. You probably can't read it, but I can. Um. What does that mean? We'll open these up first, but I'm gonna try and find a way to stop that problem that we're having with um. The package is not coming to the house. Um, the package is not coming to the house. Um, the package is not coming to the house. Uncle Yvette said, if we got cash out. Turn it off. You gonna yell at me? I'm playing. Let me see what they saying. Go back up to the top. Uh, Auntie Yvette said, if you got cash okay. out, she'll bless the, bless the baby. Now I'm tell y'all about. Yeah, we do got cash out. Carlos is gonna drop it down in the comment section. Well, why are you typing? <laughs> Drop it down. <laughs> you know, it's I'm gonna be person. under Carlos's account. She's behind the third person. <laughs> okay, I'm about to drop the cash app. Um, put yours, don't put mine. But you guys sent enough money, which I was telling y'all, for us to purchase the baby bed. No, don't say you guys. Tell them who did it again. Our family members, no, you all. Don't say family. Say auntie. It was a lot of auntie. No, I'm not talking about the stroller in the car seat. Oh, you just said the gift. I'm talking stroller. about the monetary gift that they sent the first time. It was like 160 some dollars. Oh, a lot okay. of people sent, and then Auntie Kendra just sent a $40 wow. um, oh, yeah, love yeah, donation. Yeah, and then we did. got um, Celestial Soul sent us the gift card to Target. Oh, like, well, we have a lot of monetary gifts and gift cards that we were sent. I wanted to spot spotlight Auntie. Uh... So that's the cash. I just dropped the cash app if you want to send a love donation. But um, cut the I out. had gotten enough money that I could purchase his bed with that money. So that was kind of exciting. I was going to buy his bed with the money, the monetary gift that I got. But mm -hmm. y'all might be paying for his circumcision now. Y'all getting close to the <laughs> circumcision amount. Like everything is like almost paid for. I couldn't be more grateful for all of your donations and all of the stuff that y'all have sent him because I still have to organize, but that's neither here nor there. We're going to make sure we get the organizers and get our room straight for him. Y'all send, send great wishes to my, to my little man when he get this circumcision, man. I've been thinking about it. That's a lot of pain. In the He's not going to remember the pain. And he's going he gonna to have to use the bathroom. And then when you put that diaper on him, it's going to be closing. I couldn't imagine to get my stuff all cut up and then put in some cloth. Y'all want to know what happened to me? Carlos beat me up. We got into a fight after the live. Yeah. And he did this. So come get him. Ground the pound. Come get me. Come find me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Before y'all go be going all crazy. <laughs> no, he didn't do this. No, I did this to myself and I'm extremely embarrassed about it. Yeah. Um, but being clumsy, doing too much, I don't even want to talk about it. But it's going to go away. It's going to get better. But the skin is gone. It was bleeding real bad. So I'm just hoping that it'll, you know, heal up nicely. Y'all know I like to heal my stuff a certain way, use my my um natural products. So I got my natural stuff on there. So that should definitely help. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Auntie Yvette. We really appreciate it. Yes, your love donation just came in. Please send me your information so we can send you something. And we're gonna send Please. gifts out as soon as we get back. Get back right. I had made purchase. Carlos still hasn't been to up. get you guys' gifts either, so and that's delaying the, the boxes. I was talking to Quinn actually earlier, and he was explaining where he had some financial differences. Not to put him under, but he had to take care of some things. And he's just been stressed out. I think I'm in the same boat. I think men stress about survivability different than women do. So even though it's not looking crazy, to me, it feels crazy. 
Yeah, it's not looking crazy. Like, I'm not stressed about it because I feel like we're still in a good space. She, she feel but like Carlos good, wants it but... to look like three to four times more than what it's actually looking like in the account. Right. He wants to feel like we are three to four, which I'm grateful to have that type of man because it makes him more frugal. He's more conscious about what he's spending. He thinks twice now that he has a baby, now that we have a baby on the way. So it really like helps me a lot to not stress because there's always something there for us. I was about to get some Yeezys. And he pay all the bills. And so I, I was about to slide the button. I can't complain. And I was like, I was like, damn, that's a lot of money for some shoes. I was like, damn, I really can't do this. Cause if you're at work, hang in there, y'all. I got a son on the way and I don't know what you you never know what is to happen on down the line. Nobody can predict their financial stability future wise. I don't care what kind of job you got. That's Even true. if you got a job paying two hundred thousand a year, yo, and all you gotta do is type. What if your fingers get cut off some kind of way? Now you can't even support that two hundred thousand dollar job. Now you're gonna have to put you in a fifty thousand dollar, you know what I'm saying, position. But what if your lifestyle was two hundred and fifty, you know what I'm saying? Right, so now right. you you gonna you gonna either fall out of your bracket that you in. I mean, anything could happen. So thinking with that mindset, I was like, "Yeah, I can't buy these. I just went on ahead and got got me some regular Adidas for about a hundred bucks instead. You know, so things like that." If yeah, I thought he actually paid the five hundred dollars for something, and I almost lost it, child. I almost lost it, but he is really good for me. Like honestly, he's good for me, and. He has changed me in the aspect that I do not spend money like I used to. Now, the guy that I was with before, he was like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your nails done, get your hair done. Constantly throwing money. So I, And then I wasn't working either. So it made it to where I was just a materialistic almost to the point where I was buying stuff all the time. I was dibbling, dabbling, and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just blowing, throwing money away. But now I'm a little more conscious, you know about the money that I'm spending and it's because of this man and I've actually become more of a minimalist and I realize I don't need a lot of uh oh I don't need a lot of the stuff that I was getting or buying regularly and then two I was trying to keep up with a trend like I was more operating in a different state of mind than I am now so don't worry about it Jay Willis you almost off work girl I know, I you, know. Probably, you probably got about Yes, hours. hang in there. If you just got to work, please try and hang in there. <laughs> hang in there even more. If you just be got off there. Before you know it. But if you if you're about to get off work, hang in there. It's the weekend, honey. You're gonna be able to relax and enjoy yourself. Okay. And I know it's probably raining and a lot of if you on the east coast, because of Elsa, the storm is sliding through. Oh, but yeah. y'all hang in there. Well it's forty five people in the room, but we only got five likes. See, this is what I be talking about. They slide about right in now. and out. They slide in and out. Yeah. For those that, that slid and stayed, <laughs> don't forget to hit that like button. Yes, please hit the like button. It helps. But, um, y'all, I don't want to deprive you guys of seeing the baby. But I know that there are a lot of, I don't want to consider them trolls, but people on here that don't necessarily... Mean good? Mean us any good. You know what I'm saying? Like they're taking information to talk bad about us. Go take information, take it to another page. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Well, so I've hours. been thinking about creating a Patreon account where you would have to purchase a subscription to see the baby. Um, but then I don't want to deprive those who may not be able to pay for the subscription. You know what I'm saying? To see him. I don't know. Like I've just been thinking about it though. Like to have another account, a Patreon account, where I can show you guys my, I won't still do like baby type stuff on here, but I will not be showing you him. You know what I'm saying? Just showing him to the yeah, world. It'll be a lot more out. private. Everybody finna see yes, greatness. It'll be a lot more private. Um, Everybody finna see greatness. For people that really want to support us or really want to see the baby or that really want, you know, our true family on here you're gonna catch us at the i know that y'all will pay Take the one walks. month subscription or the, the subs, one time subscription isn't it a one time payment for what to subscribe to your patreon I don't know i'm gonna look into patreon. it but i've been thinking about that because i just don't want no trolls or the people that's from lipstick alley or whoever comes on our pages with oh, the negativity I like, I like lipstick to alley. be 
Tell them to come look you at me. You know what I'm saying? Got anything to say about so, me? Let's address take my it. son and put him on Patreon. And if you really a supporter, I know that you'll do the the subscription, pay the subscription. And I'm not gonna charge a bunch for no subscription either. It'll probably be like five dollars, yeah. two dollars, something like that for you to join. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, that cup. And then cool. also, um, yeah, it'll be. It is a monthly subscription, so yeah, it won't be that much. And then I'm going to put up so much content on there. And I'm going to still be on here too. But I don't think I'm going to be like showing y'all my baby the same way I would if you're paying for the monthly subscription I'm, over there. Hey, y'all come low so, and most. And I'm showing y'all the baby. And then also we can have channel. our conversations. You, we take walks in the park, drives around the city, everything, okay? And if you got anything to say, we take that too. Okay, this is not telling us who it's from. For real? They probably ripped that off but, when they opened it. We're gonna look at it. This is another baby gift, I reckon. This might be from Auntie Pat. Yeah. Yes, it is from Auntie Pat because I remember. What she bought? Oh my gosh, I really wanted this for him. Did they take it out the pack too? Well, I mean, when did they realize it wasn't for them? <laughs> the hell? Carlos, they didn't take it out the pack. This thing look ruffled up, man. So this says, enjoy your gift. From Pat, we really love you. We appreciate you. This was like one of my favorite things. I really wanted him to have this. This is for him bedtime. Y'all know I gotta put it on first now. Y'all know I gotta put it on. Oh, oh that's so stinking cute. I cannot wait to oh, give him man, bath time. I can't even get up in that joint. Got the hood on. Oh. Got the hood on. Oh my on. gosh. He gonna get out the tub, y'all, and be in his robe. Yeah, that's real nice. Him fancy stuff. That feels so good. Thank you, Auntie Pat. We love you so much. Please send me your information. Find an adult size in this thing. <laughs> find you one too. Oh man, this is nice. Oh, it's so soft. Oh my god. I'm going to just let him sit in this, honey. Yeah, who gonna tie it up? Oh, oh he better stop. He's gonna get tied up, y'all. Look at that. Y'all, this is the cutest ever. Had a thing on real type in. <laughs> Swallow him in this thing. Oh. Yeah, that's really nice. That is super cute. I wanted that so bad. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. So y'all can see the print. I don't know if you can catch all. Oh. He finna be a giraffe. We thank you so much. I love that. See, I love looking at the stuff that y'all pick out. And y'all got the right colors. It ain't co Hey. It just makes me so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, I cannot wait to see him in this. Yeah. Yes. That's going to be for the winter time, though. It's uh -oh. going to be a while before he have his actual bath. I don't want to, um... I really don't want to bathe him in that hard water anyway, like the faucet water. Ooh, because you... that's hard water, and it'd be full of metals and stuff. You but say he graduated, Miss Marie? That's wonderful. He going to be getting wiped down. She said she got, she missed her kids being babies. But she got four of them. This is oldest. from... Your youngest. This is from Miss Pat as well. Oh, you find it done. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this got to be from Miss Pat as well. This one. Because it's got the same last name, but it's just a different first name. But I think that's her first name, but she just goes by Pat. You sure? Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wanted this so bad. You know what's so crazy? No. <laughs> I mean, I do. This is versatile, so I can put this. I can use this for when I'm breastfeeding. Um, I can use this around his stroller. So this ain't. The... I can use this around his um, car seat. around his stroller, around his car seat. But it's just a car seat cover, a stroller cover, or I can use it for like when I'm breastfeeding or I'm pumping. I think I might even be able to hold. Holster him in here. For real? Now, yeah. where y'all get the daddy holster? I need that. Oh, my goodness. So, it's this right here is versatile. Like, I can put this around the stroller, around the car seat. Um, It's like four different things you can do with it. Y'all got some more mommy presents. Thank you so much. No, this is versatile, baby. No, we can I, use this for I the car seat. that was around your, your titty just now. So, <laughs> so, if it's cold outside, instead of us putting a blanket... 
you know how people lay the blanket over the you put this around there no I'm and then you blanket. hold his thing I'm put a blanket. and it's very breathable For real. but it has the animals on there no that's a cute that's a cute print but it uh, don't look like daddy can fit that joint but it does look daddy-ish though this is more this looks daddy-ish right no nah. yeah this this looks daddy-ish it has animals on it nah. it's got daddy-ish colors y'all killing me with the woman <laughs> with the mama gifts it's all right. Don't worry about it. Y'all don't even focus on that. That don't is even focus on that. Y'all make sure y'all get all the mama gifts. I like to keep these daddy cards. Daddy gifts, man. Put this together. Put it away. What are they saying? Miss Marie, my husband and I are renewing our vows next March. Celebrating 25 years. Wow. Congratulations. Ooh. I hope y'all keeping it spicy. Give us the secret. Give us the secret, Miss Marie. Right. What is the secret? What is keeping you guys? If you have a long marriage that's been Ms. longer Pat. than you, Ms. Pat. 15 years. It. I don't want you to feel like I'm being funny at all. Tell us tell us what you're doing, baby. Yeah, tell us the secret, Miss Marie. So Why are y'all staying together so long? I told you, Miss Pat, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the, uh, I'm going to get like a little satchel that he can, I can put him in first. And he have a nice little Well, baby, you might be able to get that with some of the money that they sent with that the other stuff. That his arms hang and his feet dangling. And I can put him right on my chest so I can, you know, he'd be right here. He need While ball. he's playing the game. I can still be a tenor <laughs> and feed my baby and make sure he's safe at the same time. Right there. Oh, this, oh my God. You know what? See, I just get so excited. I'm sorry. What happened? Because I really wanted this. I really want everything that's on my on my baby registry. But seriously, when y'all check out certain stuff that I like get super excited about. This came from China. Or that I want really bad. This is also from Auntie Pat. Auntie Pat, you showing out. She showed out. I love it's all nice of little, this. A nice little rumple. So she got him this stuff. Now yes. You, you shouldn't have got this this big. Oh, Pat. that's like, the I can size. slide up in this junk. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be perfect for him, you guys. Oh, we about to stretch this out. Oh, it's like, what is this material? You should have got it big enough. What do they call that? Uh, that you put um, underneath your clothes? Thermal. Thermal. It's like the thermal material. Mm -hmm. Pull it, Push it in close, baby, so they can see it. Isn't that cute? And it's got a hood on it. So he's going to be able to wear this in October. Yeah. Let me see if it fit on he my head. He can have this on. Let me see if it fit on my head, baby. Carlos, give me that. Yeah. He can wear this in October. He can have this on in um November. Not August though. When we go to the Thanksgiving dinner. Not August. That joint. Well yeah, he I mean he probably he's he gonna come, be a big he baby. He's coming after the summer though. And you know, so it's about to get cold outside. So I really right. decided to put a lot of this little stuff on there. So if you look at the baby registry, you'll find some more of these. Y'all wanna see it colors. on? Oh yeah, y'all wanna see it on? <laughs> You a trip. Oh, this yeah. is super cute. And the material, this is good material. Yes, it is. Amazon, Amazon, honestly, some of these companies that are on Amazon, they're not playing no games. Like, they come in with the energy. Mm -hmm. Some nice buttons. Oh, and he got working pockets. What was what you got in them pockets? No, if I have it in pockets. What do you got in them working pockets? Dollar bills. When they make them. these working pockets, it just does something to me. He gonna have a dollar bill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some change. Yep. Where is you going, honey? I know my work. Aw, thank you so much. We love you. We appreciate you. Yes, we do. Thank, thank you. Thank you to Aunt Yvette for the love donation. We can't be more grateful, for real. Like, y'all are Let's just see. coming with the energy. Who? Auntie Maddie and the, and the baby stroller. So, Auntie Maddie. You gotta open up. Auntie Maddie's gift. Gave us my bad, the money. <laughs> She sent us a love donation through PayPal, and I couldn't believe it. I honestly was beside myself Family with the amount that work. she sent. Like, I was like, this is So, Miss Marie, you say work great. was last, communication and patience with one another, love each other with no conditions. No conditions. You got to uh -huh. explain that condition. Okay, wait, what did she say? How did they be together so long? She said our faith is first, then us, family, friends, and Faith work. first. Family, friends, and no, work. No, faith first, then them, the two of them. Okay. Then family, mm -hmm. then friends, and then work. Okay. Communication and patience mm -hmm. with one another and love each other with no conditions. Right. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, that is sweet. 
That's coming from a time with no cell phones. 25 years ago, there was no cell phones. Oh, she having a cookout. Who? Akina. She just sent the text. July 7. When is July 7? Oh, uh, yesterday. Should well, it might not have said 17? July 7. I thought, it, I thought that's what it said, but she just sent the text out to a bunch of people. She said, how do I find your baby registry? Okay, so I will, um, do you, don't you have the baby registry on your home? Uh, you sent it? You sent me the, uh... I sent it to you to send to somebody. Oh, so yeah. you should have it in there where you can copy and paste it in the, um... Okay, yeah, so just copy and paste that into the... Wait, that's not the registry, though. You sure? Yeah, go back and look at that again. Okay, yeah, so Carlos is about to paste the registry down in the comment section. If you want to send a love donation to, to the PayPal, he's going to put that down there. And then if you want to send a love donation to the Cash app, he's going to put that down there too. Okay, so I text that to me. So I think it just popped up. Did it pop up? Mm, should have. I text you this right here. Where was that at? But this right here is the is the baby's the baby stroller. Uh oh, baby, give me some, give me some, some stuff. Where that knife that you had? Oh. You lost the knife. No, I got it. The fish sword. Yes. The fish skewer. How about this one? We used to go fishing a lot. I know, I miss going fishing. That's something I can do pregnant. Why you ain't took me fishing, boy? Not while it's hot. <laughs> Why you ain't took me fishing, boy? Yeah. Tell him to take me back on the boat. Y'all there more pissed off than the fish. <laughs> Why did I choose to do this? We used to always go fishing like real early in the morning. So as soon as it get hot, we know we're done. <laughs> That's what we used to do. Thank you, Lachey. Yes. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, thanks, Mr. Shea. Oh, okay, this is a big box. Baby, put that over there. Put, I mean, move the um camera over at an angle. You sure? Yeah. Get it, get it closer over there. There it is. Ugh. Like that? Yeah. Ooh. You don't want me in the picture, huh? I don't like how that shook. You ain't tighten this down. Oh my gosh. That's why I'd be falling out. You gotta tighten it down. Uh, baby, you gotta help me. Of course. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Wait, let me get this back. Here, give me that. Give me that. No. Lift his stuff up out of there. Okay. All right. Ugh. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Y'all getting some free butt shots. No, sir. Uh -uh. On oh, his car seat. Got to pay to get them kind of angles. <gasps> Look at his car seat. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm extra excited. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think that goes to that. And he's got to put the wheels on his stroller. Let me show y'all the car seat, though. Yeah. Super cute. I'm going to tell y'all a secret in a minute, too. About me being a good father. Lo and behold. Lo and behold. I don't need this stuff. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. Well, the wheels come in, the wheels came second. I did get a jogger stroller. And the company is Mumbibi. That may be Italian, so don't quote me on that. Pick up another wheel. Okay. Oh, and then the other wheel is down in there. So this thing gotta be put together. Yes. Nothing like fresh road. Look at his, look at his, look at his car seat, y'all. Y'all got to get into these details. It's the details for mommy. Y'all know which part I'm locked in on. 
Gotta make sure these wheels are in alignment. Yeah, they looking good. It's the details for mommy. Yeah. Look at this. Y'all. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. This thing is fancy paint. Hold on. Make sure I don't cut the leather. Look at this. You cut the leather. Boy. You don't mess up my baby car seat now. I only got one kid. Look at this car seat. <laughs> nah, we'll oh the, my God. Put this thing back in the box and tell him it can't cut up. That's what we do. <laughs> It has a little weight meter on the side. It does? Yes. No, it don't. Oh, this is so cute. Look at y'all. Look at how he. If he ain't fancy with him straps. Oh, I cannot wait to put this in the car. This is perfect for our new car. Yeah. Look how small we're getting the back. Y'all, the leather. It's the leather for me. Where's the leather at? The leather. Right here, around the edges, it's the leather for mommy. And this is his base. Well, this one gonna be for the stroller right here. Man. Yes. I'm gonna put this back in the box. Yes. And so we got him. Stroller looking confusing as hell already. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, y'all, this is everything. Baby, look at the comments. Look oh, at what they're saying. Hold oh, up, how you get the thing out of here now? Come on, son. Cause that ain't how you do it. Look, Man. let me go ahead and teach you right now. I got it. my son stuck in the car. You see this uh, back here? 911. It's hot as hell out here. I can't, <laughs> I can't get the car. I can't get the, the baby seat out. You see this back here? This is what's going to lift him from the base. You see that? What, what, what? Okay. Now, yeah, I've been hit every button on this damn car seat. He Auntie Pat got it. this for us. This is what I was trying to tell y'all. So this is from Auntie Pat. So if it gets cold outside, oh, I love demonstrations. If it get cold, we're gonna have to wrap that baby in some blankets. I'm if not... it gets cold, he gonna have a blanket on him. But this is how you do it. So when I was telling y'all, it's versatile, like this. Now him in there and him is is fine, and then him not getting no cold air on him lungs. Come on, Carlos, you see me trying to sing. No, I don't. I'm trying to figure it out. This, this is the first first time for everything, you know. This is the first time. Like that. Yeah, he gonna be like, Dad, can you take this off me now? I can't see that. <laughs> no, it's cold, but I still want to see that. <laughs> He's not gonna be saying right, that. Okay, you wanna see? Okay, cause your mama thought you didn't want to see. Anything. No, he. This is good for him. See. That's perfect, right? Yeah. Thank you, Auntie Pat. Yes, she did that. And then you can just check on them. Check on them like this. He gonna be in there. Yeah, cause the lady's gonna be watching. I'm gonna have to keep him open so they see what's coming. And they're gonna be waiting. People, the lady's gonna be bidding on him when he get older. They, I take care of him as soon as he turn eight. Shut up. <laughs> like, hey, what kind of game is y'all ladies playing out there? I love this. You gotta at least let him. Auntie Maddie, listen, my heart is grateful. Yes. Auntie Pat, my heart is full. Y'all don't even understand. His I stroller. Really she just sent you a, uh, a love donation. She found the cash shop. Okay. Thank we you, thank Auntie you so Ray. much. Thank you. Y'all got to see this stroller, though. Now, I'm going to probably have to show it to y'all when the wheels get on it. Yeah, y'all yeah, figure that out. So. Well, I know, this, I know this might be the front wheel right yeah, here. Yeah, that is the front wheel. So I can do that. That's my type of stuff. What we got? That is the front wheel. We got one bolt. Let me open it up, though. Let me open it up. Okay, so let's go that way like that. I'm going to go and put his car seat in the car. I'm so excited. Okay, so that go like that. That can't come down like that, then. Okay. And so it's going to go in our new car. I'm so happy. It's going to flip around like that. 
Oh, okay, so it only. Wait, 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 wait. So you telling me that this got to come off too, pretty much. Like or that. maybe that, and then you screw that in there like that. Look, oh, no, look at how. Ooh. No, I don't need to help now. I'm trying to help you now. You see how it's just over. <laughs> Dang. Oh. Oh, I'm so happy. Y'all don't understand how grateful I am. This is like relief. You know what I'm saying? Relief. I don't have no reason to be out here stressing about nothing. Because y'all have literally taken care of baby. Okay. So when Solar come, I'm going to have to make sure he know. Who did it? Who did this? Daddy made sure you had a new whip, okay. son. Okay, put my toolbox on the porch. Daddy made sure you had a new whip. And Carlos doesn't want to sell his car because he's going to give it to the baby. When he gets old enough to drive, 16. So he's going to save his sports car and keep putting money into it. So that he'll be able to pass that down to Solar. Which I thought that was such a beautiful, beautiful idea. So sweet of him. He's always thinking ahead, you know. Oh, something happened um, to me. He could have a car. That was just so sweet. Like, but he's going to get himself another car. Um, a little further down the road. All right, that's not going to work. But I got to figure out how to open this up. Huh? They didn't put an Allen wrench in there? They probably did, babe. You got to look. Here. Oh. Here is the, the rules. Oh. The rules to the school. Hold on. What is this one right there? Hey, but you ain't got to do all that. Right I do have to do that. All right. Come back here with that. Okay, mommy's still trying to figure out how to open this thing. Still long enough, I'll be able. Oh, I figured it out. What you figured out? How to open it up. I figured it out. All right, that's what you Uh-oh. Here we go. Now the front, the back wheel is not on there. Oh my God. Oh. Y'all. No, baby, you got to let them take a look at this. How we got the wheels on, baby? Well, y'all can't see it without the wheels on it, but... Oh, this just snaps in. Oh, it's got little pockets in it. Okay. This kind of snaps in. Okay. Uh, this... We'll figure... Oh. Uh, it's got brakes! Oh my gosh, y'all don't understand. Any other wheel? Thank you, Auntie. Auntie Maddie. Okay, let me get the camera right so y'all can see what's going on. While well, Papa loves tennis. But check out that, check out that, um, about to lose 10 to 15 pounds, y'all. Oh, my gosh. This stroller is so fancy. All right, I got something for this piece. Can you hear me that, baby? What, baby? Got it? Yeah. The knife? Mm -hmm. Y'all. Oh. Sorry if my butt cracks out. But... Y'all, I'm so grateful for all of you, all of your love donations. Y'all don't understand. Whew. Our baby shower is at the end. Boy, if you throw one more thing on the floor. I ain't put the knife by you. Uh -uh. All right. It ain't gonna ever come out, right? 
You see how he just popped in? Y'all look. You got, you got his own little suspension on there. Look at his stroller. Baby, back the camera up. Take it down the street. Take the camera down the street. So I can show them. Ow! Isn't that cute? Hold on. Let me get my belly band up. Oh. Auntie Maddie. Oh. Look what we got. Mm. We got the brakes on right now. But when them brakes come off, baby, it's time. Look at the interior. Ooh. I ain't never been in a And it seat. reclines as well, so you can lift this up. You don't put the rest of it? I'm going to have to learn. His stroller can go on here. I mean, I put his car seat can go on here. What? Yeah, I can put his car seat on the stroller while he's still little. Right here. Well, I got to figure it out. And I don't got the, I don't got the energy right now. But the tray go on first. This is his stroller set. Oh! Look at this. What that say on the side? What that say down there? Rebel? Mm-hmm. Rolling Rebel. Man. Man, man, man. This is awesome. Oh, this is so awesome. Thank you guys so much. Let's see what people saying, baby, because I can't. Let me see what they are saying to you. Oh, y'all, thank you so much. Well, somebody said you got a big head. Baby, shut up. I know it ain't on there. This is ridiculous. <laughs> How could y'all say such a thing? Oh, man. Oh, I could put his stuff down here. <sighs> they say they love it. It's a nice stroller set. You girls are giving Sharon so many beautiful grandbabies. I know her heart is full. Oh, my gosh. Little Carlos' mom is so happy. Yeah, my mom is over. My mom's overwhelmed. <laughs> I be trying. Hey, mom, calm down, calm down. Oh my gosh, y'all don't understand. I knew it was going to look good, which is why I picked out this set. But I didn't know it was going to look this good. And so, you know I'm going to be pushing my son everywhere. As soon, as soon as he started walking. We got the jogger stroller for a reason, so we could be active with him. But I was going to tell y'all, the reason I... I think the reason I'm so motivated to be my son's father is... Cause I know my dad and I talk to him all the time, but he's still like a piece of shit. Like as far as like how you help your kids throughout life, he just a homeboy to me. While I still want that same homeboy relationship that I have with my father, I'm gonna do for my son so he can actually get somewhere instead of looking at him drown. It, it don't make sense to me. But I'm gonna be there for my son. Different levels, y'all. What type of guys y'all had coming up from the '60s? But 2020, we on the money now. I could never, I could never let him. I couldn't let him face life like that because life is a, for one, it's precious. Two, you only get one. And three, you can go down the wrong path without the right encouragement or the right leadership. So, yeah, these dads terrible, yo. The leadership, the encouragement, and the help. Like, you know, times change from, you know, back maybe like 1970s. Times is different than what it was. We're still using money. But our community has changed and our social. So I can't let another I can't let a person down like that. Even even my family that's young, I still I'm still, you know, trying to be in their life different than my uncles was in my life. Because my uncles, the only thing they did or uh, only thing they didn't even really teach me about life or, or women. I mean, that's the only thing they was worried about. But they didn't necessarily teach me about women. They didn't tell me how to love a woman. They didn't 
Hell, the only, the only advice I really got from my uncles is you need to get a job or what you want to do. You going you need to you need to have a good paying job. That's the only advice from my maternal side of the family that I got. I didn't have a paternal side of the family, so there you go. The good advice came in from like going to church, individuals that I ran into in church, or just my life was designed, was set up a certain way already for me to run into certain individuals so I could be this person I am today. But but it was very skimp. Like I made it through the doors as the doors was closing for me to be the person that I am today. So I couldn't. I don't want. I don't want him to just make it through the doors. You feel me? I want him to understand everything as I do today, so that he can continue to pass the love that we need in our community. And let me just put it like this: I don't love on people and show love to people for it to die out. I know it seems like love is scarce. It's not as scarce if we all are men to teach this love that that we have in our hearts, you know. So, am I gonna be a good dad? I think so. Um, that's why I'm gonna make sure he like my brother. Me and my dad, we close. We speak on brotherly topics, you know, together. But when it comes time for him to be a dad, that nigga start saying crazy stuff like. I don't know questions or get quiet. I'm like, damn, this is not the time for you to be quiet. It's time for you, it's time for you to give me the advice that I just asked you for, you know? Y'all. Oh, we have my son and stuff that might come out now. Look at that. That might come out. Or oh, it's going to sit on the tray that's supposed to be locked in right here. Yeah, where the tray at? You talking junk, Miss Reeves? You trying to say something? Now I'm playing. Oh! You know I gotta try my son's stuff on. I told y'all he like my brother. You know I gotta make sure everything was good from my perspective. You know. Side of the car seat. Okay. So it just go on the side of the car seat. No, that goes on the that goes back here. Okay. I'll get this right. Oh, this jumps. Yeah, this pops in. Tired. I ain't finna let you gotta take this out, baby. Okay. I ain't talking junk about my dad, y'all. I ain't talking junk about him. But sometimes if the shoe fits. No, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I can't stand my daddy, but I can't stand his daddy either. I'm sorry. I just hate the way he do him. It irritates my soul beyond measure. Sideways. Look at my baby. Put this back. Put I can look at him through here. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Check him out. Who ain't fancy? 
fancy. Who is not fancy, honey? Gonna have to say this. Who I'm ain't? About to, I'm about to get a storage unit so that we can keep everything in. Oh, I think this wraps around there. Got one of those little hooks. I can't do it right now. But this part goes up here. But that's for your drinks. Yeah. That's crazy. My drinks, my cell phone. What my mama called? Or did my dad join the live? And see <laughs> the live? No, I had to go back. I told y'all we talk like brothers, so I ain't gonna sit. Oh. And like we don't have good talks. But good talks don't help feed nobody. Or it don't get nobody fed. Unless it's the right talks. My dad full of advice. But hell, if it wasn't for advice, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Excuse my language. Oh my gosh. My baby. My baby's gonna be in here. My baby gonna be in that. You think you think you're gonna like this ride better than that ride? Yeah, he gonna like this ride better than this one. It's a little bumpy ride. This gonna be a little bumpy too, but this one got shocks on it though. It do. It got shocks on it. Metal shocks. Y'all. Yo, your shocks ain't on. Auntie Maddie, look at this. You see this? Yeah. We're grateful. Forever. Give my phone, baby. I got to show him where my phone go. Oh. Your phone? Well, give me your phone. This is where the phone go. Oh, I got a phone right here. Got your phone. Put your phone. Oh. Oh, man. Y'all. Y'all. I'm about to go out to the car and put the... Hold on. Let me bring the camera back over here so I can sit down. We need both parents, but... Yeah, at some point, when I, I think once I turned 18, I turned into my mama parent. I don't know how that oh. works out, you know. Y'all can see I'm flustered. I didn't turn red. I grew up in an information age, so a lot of information was more readily available to me than my parents, if that makes sense, or just my parents, because I wasn't raised with my dad. I had to go and find my dad. And then on top, when I was in the service, so I had found my sister's on Facebook to build a relationship with them while I was in high school. By the time I was out of high school and in the service, I had, um, I, had, I was coming to their hometown to see them. I was like, where's, where's your dad at, you know? And I guess they had asked, could they bring me by the house? And he was like, nah. So then I had met Another time I had came back to the town. Let me see your phone. My grandma. I opened it. My grandma had met me. His his mom. And she must have went back and told him, you know, that I'm a good person and that he tripping. I ain't nothing to worry about. So after that, I think the next time I came back, he said it was okay. He told my sister that it was okay to bring me to the house. So I came to the house. And then that's when we met. And we gradually built a relationship after that. So fast forward, he's just a brother. Is Auntie Maddie in the building, honey? I think I think he did help me a little bit when when I got when the situations got real sticky, but other than that. Creed always be like, why don't you just ask your dad or whatever? I'd be like. No, after head, I've I'll seen say, him oh, ask him it ain't, it ain't and baby. the response, but I know his daddy got it and he'll go over and beyond for his other kids. And then he'll tell Carlos how he went over and beyond and how they play him after he went over and beyond. I'm like, you are the only one that won't play him. You drive all the way down there three hours to go see him. Okay. And three hours back home in the same day. And they don't even just call to spend say, time. Happy Father's Day. They don't even call I, on Father's Day. I think one year I called him and said Happy Father's Day, and he was like, "Damn, you the only child to call me." And I was like, "Well." And he still treat this man like he the step trap, 
the stepchild. It pisses me off so bad. But I can't be mad it at him. It just irritates my soul. I can't be mad at him because what goes around comes around. And on <sighs> top of that, on top of that, um, he see me as a man. He see me as a man. He do. And after talking to him, he definitely I could see I could see where his understanding I could see where his understanding for life is a little jaded. So when people have a conflicted understanding of how things should go, you start to understand that it, it, it kind of isn't their fault, even though it is their fault, it kind of isn't their fault. But his dad wasn't really there for them for him. He was he was the child that was born outside of outside of the marriage. So his dad couldn't really tend to him like he was tending to the rest of the kids. Even though they grew up in a small town, my grandpa was a rolling stone. So it wasn't much. Oh, thank you, Lynn. We love you. It wasn't much that, um, well, what I'm trying to say. It wasn't much that he got from his dad when he was younger. He told, I think he told me his stepdad was the one that looked out for him. So I don't know if that's what he was expecting from me. But yeah, I ain't gonna let my man down. That's why I'm I'm happy who his mother is because I know that his mother has an understanding that's a little bit well, not a little bit that's beyond my mother's understanding, and I know that his father. Is gonna be there to teach him everything. So my dad knows how to work on cars a little bit, and he knows a lot of stuff about cars. But me coming up, I had to figure this shit out the hard way, like buying all the wrong cars, American cars, um, oil change, how to do that, or washing cars, all of this stuff. I had to figure out on my own <laughs> what I was doing wrong the whole time when he already knew. So. If I could go back to 16 years old and somebody teach me everything that I already know, I think I would have took a lot better steps or made some better choices. Let's just put it like that. I would have made better choices at a younger age to put me in a certain position. And it'd probably be wow. different than the position that I'm in now. Not mad at my position now, but who who's who's mad at a better position? You feel me? What's up, humble line? You in Ms. the building? Miss Dia, I agree 100% with your marriage advice and how long you stayed together. Oh, 25 years. Well, 23. Well, this is no. Dia. Miss well, Dia. Go back to Miss... Uh, I've seen hers. What'd she say? Miss Dia just said 23 years of mar marriage. Uh -huh. And what you got to do is keep your hands to yourself. I don't be putting my hands on you. No, I'm just playing. I, 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 I'm, I'm just the one. Me. You just hit me. Carlos, shut up. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> Um, keep your hands to yourself. Don't, allow, to don't allow family and friends to voice their opinion. Your relationship. Hey, now you add all them hits up together. That one you determine hit. what works for you and remember what is important. What is important. And non-negotiable. Non you know what's non-negotiable, Carlos. What I'm not having. Financial. We got to be on top of the financial, son. No, what am I not having? You're not having a girl. You're having a boy. Keep playing with me. <laughs> See, he want to play I games. I thought this was Jeopardy. What is a girl? <laughs> yes, y'all. I wasn't playing about getting that stroller together. We got to get this stuff about the flow. Right. I'm so happy and so grateful. Like, my heart is really full. Like, I cannot thank y'all enough. Y'all have baby, sent enough money bed? for us to get the baby uh, um bed. But since his uncle's going to do it, we can focus on something else. Or y'all can pay for it. Y'all probably sent enough to pay for the circumcision. Oh, Carlos gosh. wants to pay for the circumcision, but I think he's Quentin nervous about it. Quentin be talking. I was just telling baby, you know, what me and Quentin was talking about early on the on the uh, on the comms. Like, you know what I'm saying? We were playing comms. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, y'all can't hear me. I don't want you to. Anyways, um, don't ever I say don't quote me on that. Did it get? Did we get the love donation? Did you check? Are you seeing it come through? I didn't. I didn't check it. Well, just pull that down right there and you just sure? see. Yeah. Just pull that down. No, I see a bunch of oh, messages. Okay, the text messages. Well, I'll let you know for sure. Hey, Celestial Soul. How you Ms. doing? Lynn. Peace and love to you. Hey, Sister Soul, Sister. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um. What does it say? Um. Carlos 
knows your intelligence. Oh, I really You're know. an intelligent young man. Going to be a great dad father. Yes, he is. Thank you. Look, they was telling me what to look for, and I'm still steady just trying to put it together. What now, y'all? Wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I I forgot that I had to get his tray and his um top tray. Yeah. Yes. Cause my husband didn't have a father too, but he is a great father. I'm so blessed to have him. That's what Angela said. Yeah. That is one thing I don't I don't allow. You know what the hell was going on in the seventies and the eighties, man? Info influencing your children. People just all. Like and it really was the eighties. Steer in the wrong direction, especially this generation coming up. I didn't allow my kids to have social media. That's what Lynn said. Lynn, no she social media. She didn't allow outside information influencing her children mm -hmm. because they could be steered in the wrong direction, especially with this generation coming up. So mm -hmm. she didn't do the social media for her kids. Thank you, Miss Reese. Oh, I will put the name of the. It's called Mon B B. I hope I'm saying it right. M O N. B E B E, but I think it may be Italian or something. You know how Monbebe or Monabe, or maybe I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, it might be to be silent. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> she said her insurance covered the what? Covered the circumstances also. Maybe. Oh, where you live at? Because we got to pay out of pocket. Yeah, I agree with that. Peace, Miss Mary. But I think that's some bullshit to have to go through all of that just so I could relay this message to him when somebody could have been helping me the whole time. My whole family, the, all the men in my family could have helped me with knowledge that they had already get, gotten. But instead of doing, instead of worrying about the kids and their family, all they wanted to do was go chase tail. And I can't be mad because I understand why they was just on some chase and tail situation. Angela said, your father has to live with himself, but you can make a difference, Carlos. Your yeah, dad got to heal that's from why his I, past. That's why I ain't mad at him, because I know he got to live. He got to live with that. And anytime somebody do me wrong, y'all, they damn near be about something, something bad happened to every person that tries to do something wrong to me. I don't know why it happened like that. I mean, a couple people that owe me money died. Wait a minute. So, streets. Angela, is Humble Lion your husband? Humble I'm sorry. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm reading this wrong or something. But I, she said Humble Lion is a great father despite his dad's absence. And the is 80s that your was crack. Somebody said the 70s was heroin and 80s was crack targeted to the black community. Uh oh, my baby is up. Y'all might see him jumping. Well, yeah, yeah, that, that's true. But, um,. Them crackheads wasn't running from their responsibility. People had crackhead parents, you heard me. People oh, had heroin so addict parents, you heard me. Now, they probably didn't get the cereal that they wanted. Didn't have nothing to eat one, one or two days, you know. Yes, I believe the purchased baby shower gifts have been removed. There. I'm sorry. I think the purchase baby shower gifts have been removed. I don't think you can see. Y'all can. It shows me if something has been purchased on my end. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it doubles up or puts it up there. I think it removes it off of there and lets me know. Purchase or put in somebody's basket. Because you can reserve stuff. Like, let's say there's something specific you want to get for the baby. You can go to the registry, put it in your basket. But you don't have to pay for it the same day that you put it in your basket. You can hold it until you're ready to pay for it. And then pay for it a few days down the road or whenever you're ready, like she that. She said no crackheads now. Nah. They, uh, I hope that answers your question, Lachey. Once crackheads wasn't cool, everybody tried to try to go to something else. But there's it, it, a lot of recover, recovers out there, you hear me? Celestial Soul says she regrets getting her son circumcised. Can you tell me why, please? Because all or the pain he Message had to me and tell with. me why. And then, ugh, my, my man son just got pee out the joint. He told me he wished I would have never got him circumcised. Ooh. I also did some research and found out that the elite used the foreskin for beauty reasons as beauty mask. Well, then we're going to be asking for it. Give us that foreskin, please. 
Go on, pack it on up with the with the placenta, cause we ain't giving y'all nothing. Right. So let us go and get his skin. Hope you ain't for promise For y'all be trying it. to uh, Hope take you ain't his DNA to and nobody. shit. Hope you ain't promise it to nobody. <laughs> right, cause. They can come holler at me. Go on, pack it on up, put it in his ice cooler with the placenta and a little bag. We'll sell it to him. How about that? We'll take that on with us too. Thank you. Let That's us, our let us sell it. That's we we want to sell it. Yeah, we we the sell. Thank you for telling me that. Yep, go on, put it in a little baggie. <laughs> Put it in the cooler with the placenta, baby. Carlos, you went through your life challenges. So you can teach your yeah, child an easier way. But I was just talking about that. I was like, why, why that's some bullshit. Even the, the men Peace in my family. Peace, Velma. Even the men in my family, instead of chasing tail. Oh, thank you. They could have just been helping out. Helping out. And they were broke chasing tail. That's the crazy thing. They was, they were doing broke, making broke missions. Just to end up in some some coochie and and don't got nothing together. Still don't got nothing together, but <sighs> spent twelve years just the next girl, the next girl, the next girl, the next girl, the next girl. But I'm like, when when did y'all and I talked to him today. The, Janelle says this, I mean This how I, this how I know I'm the elder. I don't know how this worked out work out, but I know that elders come back into the family. So this child may be one of my past elders or one of Quita's past elders. Okay, you can't be both of our past elders now. I said either. Okay. One of mine. Clear it up now. Or, I said or. Or mean or. Or <laughs> means separate. Uh, uh, mm. We ain't sure no. <laughs> so what I'm saying is I speak to them to enlighten them and I'm the youngest. They don't really have nothing to enlighten me with because okay. I went and studied everything that they need to Ms. know Janelle, that they don't. Miss Janelle 919 said, Carlos, be easy on yourself and other black males, family included, and remember that the 70s was the heroin and the 80s was crack targeted at the black community. No excuse. So they infiltrated us. They infiltrated us. Our communities right. and sold those things to us. And because we were going through so much being in a low community, not having money. We turn to things as dependent. Like we depend on certain drugs. So whereas the weed that you were smoking may not have gotten you high enough to make you not feel what you're going through or not give you enough to feel absent from your situation in that moment. When you start trying new things to hit the market or somebody tell you, oh, this is a, here's another drug. It'll get you high like weed. You know what I'm saying? Think about the first introduction. Because they're going to have to compare it to something in order for you to try it, right? You know how many drugs they So they probably out? said, this will get you high like weed. Listen. And then once they try it, you hook. Think about how many people hit that crack and they ain't go back. Think you about how crack, many people that didn't hit the crack. You never go back. Think about how many people that didn't hit the crack. They come out with new drugs every every year. You hear me? Yeah, I know, Did baby. me and you try any of them drugs? No, we didn't, but that's because right, we have, we are conscious about... We're not in a state where we are mentally feeling like we need to escape. So if me and you were in that position where we feel like we really just want to escape the situation that we're in, I'm pretty sure we would be more open to trying different type of drugs that'll make us feel higher or put us in a place where we feel like we can escape. You see what I'm saying? So, and then once you get there, you get that one little fix... You're going to want it again, especially if you go back to feeling back low, you back to feeling down, you back to feeling or realizing that your situation isn't going to change. You'll go back and try and find that fix again. So it's kind of hard to say that once you have that addictive mindset and you can't stop, it becomes like... All you got to do is tell me that nigga hit this crack, he ain't worried about nothing to eat, clothes, house, he ain't cared about his kids ever since. All you got to do is tell me that that's what something like that do. And I'm going to sustain away from it. These people got tricked up. You know what the sense of tricked up is? You know what that means? No. Tricked up. It's kind of like the American people believing in the prison system. That's a trick. That's the same with that crap. Oh, Angela is Humble Lion's wife. That's her husband of 20 years. Congrats. You know, I'm so happy. For real. So Humble that Lion means when we come to like Virginia. <laughs> When we come to Virginia to see you, Miss Angela, you got the jeans. We're coming to see both of you. Yeah. I cannot wait to meet the both of you. Seriously, yeah. I Humble truly, been, I truly look up to you. Humble Lion been faking pumping. He, he, you got the jeans, Angela. 
Congratulations. Right. Angela got the jeans. Yeah. Tell him he needs to start. <laughs> Angela got them jeans and her He needs to start putting socks up here when he get here. And tell him I feel his pain. Oh, my gosh. The, the sock. The sock Congratulations. game. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. That's why he always give that best advice. Like, when it comes to certain stuff, mm -hmm. he always knows exactly what to say. I'm so... That just makes my heart so warm. Yeah. Because I know if he speaks the way he does, you two have to be in alignment some way to be to have been together for that long. Right. You both have to be in alignment. Like that is so beautiful. She understands. She understands and he understands. Same way me and her. Um, honestly, I can't deal with certain like me and Queenie together, and we've been together this long because of her mental. Now I had, you know, since she wanna talk about her past. <laughs> She told you I like them older ladies. So I had dated someone that was older. And when you do that, it kind of it kind of wages you on people your age. They're understanding the person that they are, the things that they like, and all of this other stuff. So when you go to somebody that's older, they've already experienced that, passed it, and they're on to the next step. So when you start hanging with them, you start, you start getting a feel for new things or things that maybe you would have worked your way into, but now you're definitely in it. And you're starting to understand how this right here works versus what you really want to do. You get what I'm saying? So you start doing things for them because it's a relationship. But this is actually something that older people do, put it like that. And then they have a, a different understanding because they are older. So That just makes me, I'm sorry, I just keep thinking about Miss Angela. That just makes me love her even more. Don't try to cut me off. I ain't cut you off. But no. Um, let me just tell you a few things some people said. So, Ms. Reese said, Carlos, you're speaking straight facts, and you're going to be a great dad slash father. And then Ms. Lynn, because I have to touch on this point. You're right, Ms. Lynn. Ms. Lynn said, it's the government that has taken most of the black fathers out of the home. Not no my one dad. No her otherwise. Not my dad. Yeah, some of them did have an option, and not my dad either. Not my, yeah, they took your dad, they, but they didn't take no, my dad. No, they did not take my dad. My dad was around since I was younger. Your dad got locked up, though. Early, before I even seen, before I even seen or knew anything. I was probably like a couple months but when he, he got locked up. But that still changed the man that he was. Okay, okay, Carlos, but that's not the point, though. He still never, I mean, my mom never forced him or made him feel like, Never put him on child support, okay? Mm -hmm. Never made him feel less than, even though she was with another man. He chose to cheat on her. That's why the relationship didn't work for them. Even though he was with what? He, I'm playing. He chose to, to <laughs> step out and do things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, she she wanted to marry him at some point. She had to throw the wedding dress out and the ring out because this man was just so childish and so not ready for that lifestyle, but he was playing games. Mm -hmm. So he had that option. He's all, she's always been open with him. Like, your daughters really want to see you. They love you so much. Come see him. Come by the house. Pick him up. Always had that option. He chose that's not to. That's the type of people that die alone. Yeah, that's what my brother was just... Y'all was just talking about that, wasn't it? That's the type of people that die alone, though. So, no regards to them. I don't know. I don't feel... I don't feel for a person like that. Um, But, now, I can't agree with you that a lot of black men were taken out of their home. That's facts, especially the ones that played into the role to get locked up. But then once they got locked up, it was some excessive time. So there's no one to fight for you once you're behind them. You can have your family fight, but what can your family really do to the law? You know, when, when it's a, a grounded system, like we not even grounded, you know. So cause if we was, we would have like a, a community where we could go to to where the law wouldn't even affect us, but it's coming, it's coming. I know it's coming because I've been talking to brothers my age and that thought pattern is pinging off all, all our heads right now as we speak. A lot of black men are thinking about why don't we have a rev reservation like the Indians do, the fake Indians. Why don't we have a reservation to where we can't get touched, policed, Oh, we, we are could, the Indians. We could grow our own food. We, we can, are. They've lied to we us. We can make our own money on Black that land. Black is not a nationality. Taxed and the government can and give is us money. Government pours money into the reservation as a sorry. Where is our sorry at? We, 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 a lot of us are thinking about this. So I know that 
I hope it's in my lifetime, and I definitely hope it's in my son's lifetime that we have a reservation or a place that we can go to. We do. We need to just change our nationality because we're not African American. That's not even a real nationality. We don't have a reservation. Black is not though. a nationality, so I don't know why we be pick picking that as a. That's not. That's not even real. Like we the only ones out here looking crazy. Mm -hmm. So this right here is our land. We the indigenous Indians. We are the the ones. Okay, this is our land right here. Yeah. Um. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe Celestial Soul, maybe it was the rap music that um, made them so selfish, put it like that. I just read that comment, but maybe it was the rap music, because it wasn't the drugs, because a lot of our parents wasn't crackheads, okay? So, maybe it was something else. Oh, what happened to my face? I hurt myself, doing too much, <laughs> doing too much, moving too fast. And cut my face open, and it was bleeding real bad, and the skin is gone. I didn't realize I had really did that much, but that's what happens when you don't get help from people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all seen what the argument was yesterday, so this happened l between last night and this morning. So y'all know I was frustrated last night trying to clean the house, okay? Last night? Nah, this happened while I was on my way to work, going out the house, walking down the stairs. But it's okay. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I just didn't realize. I'm still learning my weight and balancing this baby for real, for real. And sometimes my feet just get ahead of me. See the mom says, sit down. I know. I do need to sit down. Look at them. But feet. sometimes my feet get ahead of me. Carlos, stop. They real smooth though. Y'all know y'all seen that. I keep them smooth. You gotta show them the other side. <laughs> oh no. I need to go get these feet done. Ooh. I told you I cracked that nail trying to walk out the door right there on your thing. Just jammed it. You need to watch where you're going. I do watch where I'm going, but my feet, my legs are spreading. So the way I walk now is a little different. It's like a, okay. you know what I'm saying? You take a shorter step like and the then feet, a longer the step. The feet are going out. I'm shorter, already a little out -footed. A shorter step and then a long step. Carla, shut up. Or turn sideways. And step step. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm gonna sit down though for real because I'm really noticing that I'm becoming like well, I almost Kelly, tripped and fell the other day. What R. Kelly say? Outside. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't fall because I'd have fell face for it. What R. Kelly say? Step to the left, step to the right. Spin me around and bring it down to the night. Bring it on up. Move in. I thought I scraped my chin a little bit too, but stroke. I think that's fine. My chin is alright. But I did bust my lip now. open. Bring it on up. Move in close. Let me see you when you part the inside strong. of my lip. Y'all forgot about that. But I heal fast, y'all. I'll be jams. all right. Before they start, everybody start making these two-step songs and bring it on. And all that stuff, R. Kelly was the jam. Don't yeah, forget. Carlos do need to walk me down the stairs in the morning because this wouldn't have happened if I had, I had some help. Who said that? <laughs> Miss Pat. Miss Pat says she finna come walk you down the steps. <laughs> The wrong way, Miss Pat. Shut up. You're always trying to put something off on somebody else when they say you need oh, to Oh, they trying to put... Who what? Carlos needs to start walking me down the steps in the morning. you saying that in reverse. you saying what you just said. So I'm going to hurt myself. you saying it in reverse. You Say that again. Because I could have really got hurt. Miss Lisa, what do you want me to do, Miss Lisa? I try to do everything. I try to do everything, Miss Lisa. But I did kind of catch myself on the side of the wall. So I ain't hit my stomach or nothing. I just scraped my chin and my lip. Well, we want to see what Miss Cookie said. Okay. But it's all good. Had a little teeth injury in the inside of my lip. Speaking from it, serious. Oh, we got to do this boy hair. She said. She said her dad, her son, and dad just left to go play. Somebody was just telling me that. What he do? He left to go play what? Dad with somebody else's kids. And that's the worst. Yeah, that is the worst. Because don't nobody want to That's what my daddy is doing right now. Ooh, and you know his baby, the, ba the kids, mom look like. <laughs> that's what make it even worse. I was like, baby, honestly, I think that lady was sending him zoom zooms and wham whams. <laughs> and he trying to repay the favor because. I showed Carlos the, the situation and it's, it's like. It's critical. It's critical. Why wouldn't you just stay over here with me sharing her kids? Because I would die alone. 
or something because where you went to is like unless you was taking care of me when i was hungry and that's all i remember you know if that was the case then but see that was the thing me and my mama and my daddy were tight back in the day she wrote when i tell you rode for a man did everything together my mom's a rod period you know what i'm saying like whoever she's with they might not be shit. They might have some flaws with them. But she is an R.O.D. to the end. And I think it's that Pisces in us that just want to see the good in people. We see people's potential instead of what they're actually showing us. But I'm telling you, when I say R.O.D. to the end with these men, and my dad was one of them. So it's like, dang, like, how could you not? And I can tell you right now, if he had the option to still be with her, he would. He definitely would. Do you hear me? Yeah, Miss Lynn, Miss Marie. That's that's what I be trying to tell people that we didn't come off of boats. Okay. No, we didn't. Cause how all of us get over here? Stop not playing even, with me. Not even that. I don't look like nobody. I might look like I come from Lesotho or something like that. But other than that country, I don't look like I come from Johannesburg. Mm -mm. I don't look like I come from Egypt. Nope. I look like I might have went through Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit, I'm just trying to get through. I'm, it's hot as hell here. You know, like, maybe I went through Egypt, but... We, the way that we, we were look, not over there, the, period. The, the, the facial appearance and structure that the Indians had were only... That's the only... That's the only answer to my facial structure, or Mayans. The Mayans. Look at my face. Yeah, the statues and stuff that they have present. For real. That shit don't look. And this right here like is no the real African Egypt. Nowhere. We in the real Egypt right here. Even if I tried to go outside and sunbathe. Because I done did that before. Look at my skin complexion right now. The Grand Canyon is your full example of some of the pyramids that have been hidden. The inside of my arm. I don't show y'all muscles now, you know. Get, get put, I think it's still tunes that haven't been I flex. I put some my eyes, discovered you know, in the Grand Canyon. Let me stop. Boy, bye. Yeah, Lachey, um, don't ever do that again. Um, <laughs> what? She said they just did that ancestry thing. Yeah, the ancestry thing will throw you off. It'll throw you. I don't think they're telling you the truth. Nah, Especially if you come in and you already got to put what you think you are because you're going to automatically put black. So as soon as you say that, they're going to mix your DNA up so much that it's going to throw you further off than you ever were before. You're going to probably have like 2% Indian, which is probably the highest percentage of what you are. And then they're going to throw a whole bunch of other shit in here like you Irish and... You, you know, you're a little bit this, but honestly, you know, strut, you, you, can, you can about tell where you come from. If you have a Jamaican heritage or a Haitian heritage or someone in your family was from Brazil or Cuba or something like that, like them features don't just go away, you know? So if you look like you have more of an African appearance, but you just don't feel, you don't feel like that's where you come from, you could have, you could have a Haitian or an, a Jamaican uh, ancestral, you know, so, but to you, Lachey, them people playing, and I tell you, it's so many ways to make money in America. I told y'all I was going to tell y'all about when I met my brother, my dad's son. He didn't raise him either. Sad story. My, my, my older brother, his mama got locked up when he was younger, right around like 12 years old. My brother called my dad and said, there ain't nobody else to come get me. Can you come get me? And my dad said, no. So he just left my dad, my little brother in the system. So that kind of effed my brother up mentally. All right, from look at where on, he at now. From that point on. Look he, at where he at now. But what I was saying about, bro. I don't know, something about your dad and your brother. No, I was saying somebody just said something. Oh. Your, your daddy didn't raise your brother either where you started. But. See, my, my thoughts be slipping, y'all. Wow, and so that he's still medicating. That's why. No, I'm not. He's still medicating and elevating. Don't try and lean back and be no, because the last time what you tell them. Huh, get your leg off of me. You, <laughs> oh, you better put my leg back nah, up there right leg, now. You don't need to elevate that angle. You need to um You gotta see. He back. mad because I'm telling y'all the truth. I forgot what I was saying. 
But we transparent over here. He's still elevating the Medicaid. He's supposed to be nonstop. stop. What was I saying, y'all? Pretty much. <laughs> well, while he's still getting his thoughts together, we're going to talk about him elevating the <laughs> Elevate you. He don't want to talk about that though. Elevate you. He don't want to talk about that because yeah. he really do got a problem. I told him. At this point, it's a problem. No, I don't. Hey, Y'all listen to that if you want to. Carlos, you can stop. Yeah. No, you can't. I promise. You can't. It's not that easy for you. And I wish you'd just be honest. I even asked him, do he need to go to a rehab <laughs> for smoke? <laughs> I'm going to pull up a picture of So my he brother. can stop. I'm going to pull up a picture of Because he does. He does. Now, at one point, I was there, too, but I was able to admit it. He can't admit nothing. He has a hard time. Whoa. You got that. Ooh, they look just alike, don't they? Wow. That's Carlos, his brother. No, y'all see that picture right there? Now, watch this. Now, that's his lookalike. Yeah, that's his look like. <laughs> I told him, I said, Childish Bambino has to be y'all's brother or something. Oh my God. He looked just like Ch Danny Glover looked just like this dude, yo. And my brother actually makes this face. That is so funny. But I forgot what I was telling y'all, honestly. I'm sorry. I hate doing that. Oh, our purchase helps. Um. Karen, Karen says she got the same car surgery. seat and stroller. You do? How you like it, Karen? Did it break down on you? We need to send it back right now. What you think? Was it good for you? Reviews, reviews. They say said that's my cousin or something. Thanks, Miss Pat. Who is Don Donald Glover? I was telling y'all about how how snake, how much of a snake my brother was. Scary. Can't trust him. But there's people out there like that. I forgot what I was telling y'all about that. A real snake, like, oh, your money, Lachey, you. My brother was scamming people and he had brought me along with him. I didn't know that this is what it was at first, but you better believe that once I figured out what it was, I was not with the shit. So I was like, bro, this ain't even my type of, this ain't oh, even my type of, of work. <laughs> that's a wrist strap. This ain't even my type of work. <laughs> you can follow this there. I'm going to let you have it. So, at first, he would just pull up and scam black people and white people. But whenever he did it with me, I was like, we ain't scamming niggas, bro. You can, you can, I can assure you I'm not helping you do that to no niggas. I was like, if you want to scam somebody, it's going to be white people. Because their money come at a different rate than black people money. And we ain't messing with black people money. Now, sometimes if I wasn't near him, like I got out the truck and went into a store, he'll jump on a black person and try to scam them. But the only reason I'm bringing this up is because people will take your money if they can. They don't, they don't care. It's the same thing with prescriptions. A doctor will prescribe you some placebos and then your insurance pay for them. And it's money that, you know, it's, it's pretty expensive. It don't have to be expensive, but it can be. So... Look, people will take your money. That what did ain't you even say open. about the um car seat? How do you like it? Let me see what she said. We got the same style, girl. Karen ain't said nothing back. Uh, Miss Lynn said that's my twin. It is. When I first met his brother, and see what makes it so crazy is me and Carlos, his brother, got along so well. Like but it wasn't I mean, real. we clicked. But like it wasn't this. real. I t he was a snake. I didn't. I never met this kind of snake. Now I done met several snakes in my life, reptilian oh my style. Gosh. But this guy was a, a state of the art. Now I didn't even know. He but was I the mastermind known, manipulator. That's what I should have known. I should have known from the previous stories that he kind of touched on. But one thing about him is he knew that he had to keep certain stories from people so that people wouldn't map out who he was. It was just certain stories that he would start talking about that he would have to finish that he wouldn't. So it wouldn't look so it wouldn't look funny. But once I learned oh, who he was. We gotta slide this up so this can swivel left and right. I understood 
like how he would tell stories so that they look a certain way. I understood that he does that. And it painted so many other pictures. And I was like, yo, this guy is really freaking crazy. I got to. Let me see the comments, baby. So even the relationship that him and Quita had, whenever me and Quita would get in an argument, he would go. He would take my side. He would take her side, but I wouldn't understand that. Like, he would take my side and tell Carlos, you don't need to be talking to her like that. Like, you need to chill out, bro. Like, I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. Right. You need to slow down. Like, and I'd be he like, would jump in on the conversation, like, bro, our relationship. I'd be like, bro, what's, whose side is you on? <laughs> the whole time, he was just trying to make sure that if she put me out, he still he had, still so he still had a secure place. Because he built that relationship with us where I, he, where I trusted him. Right. And I don't know what kind of guy thinks like that. I mean, he taught me something. That was like, he would think, a he would of... think while you five steps back, he's on step number 10. And you don't, you thinking he on the same level and as I you. And I'll whoop his ass in chest every day. I'll be like, bro, is you all right? But the, the whole, the reason I'd be beating him in chest is because he's thinking about steps that I'm not even, he's not even thinking about the chess game. Put it mm -hmm. like that. His mind was somewhere else. Mine was somewhere else already in the game. So I only told y'all that story for you, Lachey. Don't trust people with your money. Make sure you know exactly where your money going. But people will tell you bullshit so that they can get paid. That's how a lot of people got rich in this country, in this fine land. Trust me. I ain't even... I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. But What they saying, baby? Hit me out. I've been seeing some paragraphs popping up. Uh -uh. Can I take him stuff and stuff and tank him? Mommy's tank him butt stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. That's what I be here saying to him, y'all. I love him so much. Oh, Miss Lynn said I need a channel too. I be trying to find out where I'm going to get the time to be on the channel, Miss Lynn. I do that, but... Carlos is not ready to dedicate the time because I'm telling you, if you want something bad enough, you find time for things that you want. Yep. But Carlos Don't doesn't want about... it bad enough, so he, he's not. He's fine with just doing his conversations right here with us. I want it bad, but I've been studying like um, I would rather have like a, a comedy channel type. I been I know where I fail at with comedy. It's because. You gotta be on time. It's all about time. I watched a documentary. I yesterday. fell against the wall. The and scraped my and face up. The things on the steps. Took my skin off. Well, I was going down the steps, but we are up two flights of stairs. But I gotta make sure if I'm if I'm doing if it I'm doing comedy <laughs> if I'm doing comedy, it gotta be funny for once. Now, whenever I do this live stuff, it, you know. That's my natural personality. Anytime I ever, even when I was in boot camp for the Navy, the uh, the RECs, whenever they get ready to get on me, they said at the end of boot camp, they told me that they wouldn't get on me because uh, they want to laugh under their skin while they're yelling at me because I'd be making like facial expressions or, you know, you know, like doing certain things where they couldn't hold their composure. So they had to go to the next person so that they wouldn't laugh in order to make wow. everybody think that they're serious. So, I mean, say all that to say, like anytime I went anywhere, I've always been able to make people laugh. But whenever you doing it on that level, I think when you're trying to capture funny, to me, whenever I try to capture it, it comes out different than if it was just a natural roll off. You feel me? So, mm -hmm. yeah, I want me to create a channel. I have to record the whole day and top it up in order for me to... And pick out the funny parts where and he's then, just naturally in his element. Right, because y'all don't catch a lot of stuff. Y'all no, don't catch the funniest. Y'all miss it. Y'all don't catch the I'd be weak parts. to the bone. Trust me, y'all don't catch the funniest. And I already know that video you sent me on Facebook. I can only imagine what your re reaction was with that roller coaster ride. <laughs> I, just I bust think I was laughing harder God. because I could only imagine what When I heard it crash, I was like, ha! No way. Oh, my gosh. I mean, if somebody's hurt, but... That, Somebody is really hurt. That motherfucker flew up. Could you imagine? Like... 
Like you, you, you waiting for it to go back down, but that motherfucker just you just coming out of the thin air. It ain't even. And then you don't no even more. see the tracks, you know. <laughs> But yeah, that, that's, that's the scariest thing ever. Yeah. Let's see what I got in my lunch box. Thank you, Celestia. So I was too busy trying not to drop my food, y'all. My lunch box and my water. Well, I had juice this morning, but yeah. I think that's what happened. I was I'm hoping. Focused. I'm hoping, Celestia. So I'm hoping my son is just as funny as one of us, cause I can't have no boring people oh, around man. me, and the son knows that, and um. And so when I asked him to send me somebody special, now I've come across a lot of old old school cats now that were funny to the bone. And I'm hoping that's what he that he trying to put some of them back in play. That's why I, that when when I when I, when I spent my spindle, I was hoping that that's what we was wearing. A, a nice little funny a nice little funny guy like myself. We can have a dying laughing time because. I hate to be around boring people. And most of the time, y'all, when I go around people, I'm the funny one. So I tend to make people laugh. But whenever I go around somebody and they funny, oh, man, we had the best time making each other laugh. Especially if we can coerce together and actually, like, get into act together. Like, I had a few friends that was like that, but I don't even talk to them no more. They That's another story. I ain't even going to talk to y'all about that yet. Y'all may grow to know that story, but drop the food. What say what are you talking about? Oh, this morning. Oh yeah. Baby, when I leave out of here, I be having a lot of stuff in my hand, don't I? Some mornings I can't even lock the door. I be like, Carlos, get up and come lock the door, cause I have so much stuff in my hand. It's time to drink. When I'm walking out of here and going to the car. But Carlos don't get up to come help me get get out the house. Nope. He be in there laying in the bed. Nope. And that's why I scraped my face up today. I almost started crying because it scared me so bad. But I was just happy my baby ain't touched the floor or the wall. Ah, Miss Red is funny. She said, Queen the Most High has heard your mama's, your mama's uh, <laughs> praise and, and, and has allowed her other half to show up and love to see them together. Shar and plus Ron. You yes. Could, you can share. Yes. <laughs> Shar plus Ron equals Sharon. You're right. <laughs> like is that, that. I loved him too. But I honestly feel like she manifested him. I'm so happy for both of y'all. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait to see how he come out naturally. And y'all think I'm funny. He might actually be a star. I'm, that's what I'm trying to brigade a star. I ain't trying to raise no football player, no basketball player, no raps. I want him to be a, a, a well-rounded, intelligent person. So I hope the intelligence don't knock off the comedy. Cause I used to be, I used to be a little bit more funnier than I am now. But once I started searching for knowledge, you know, it kind of like knocked it down a little bit. But I never forget. No, don't. Am. No, it didn't knock it down. Cause now he'll use his intelligence on a level that is almost com comedy because it's so insulting to the people that aren't on that level. It becomes comedy for people that get it or that are on that level of intellect. And then you got the people that aren't that just aren't there yet intellectually See, I so if he say people. something he'll make you feel like okay other people might look at it as comedy but the person that it's happening to that's not ready it's like okay are you being sarcastic or are you trying to be funny or right. but they're not getting it but mm -hmm. they know that it's coming off as sarcasm but it's like asshole sarcasm I'm but it'll be funny to people like me that get it like when i'm around him his family i'd be weak do you hear me? I be dying laughing. My family don't understand. Because they're not on the level to understand some of the stuff he be talking about, but he be spitting nothing but facts, and then their comebacks to his facts just be like, oh my God. Like, and they really just, just like pay attention. This was I your problem. I see what your problem was when you was in school. I'd be like, baby, just stop it. They'd be like, girl, make them stop. And they'd be thinking that I'm agreeing with them, but I'm telling him, just stop, because it's not you're not getting anywhere. It's it's hilarious to me. She said, "I have. Let me see what Karen talking about." 
Oh, Karen said she 32 weeks. She haven't used hers uh, yet. She uh, she, uh -huh. just, she just got hers two weeks ago. Uh -huh. So y'all bobbing thought process We're back, right there back, together. back and forth. Karen, that's crazy. What is, what is, uh-oh. Karen, you having a boy? Miss Red said me and, me and uh, bro related. <laughs> yeah, I'm not on that journey of feeding. My mom more knowledge because it's a dumb thing when people think you don't know. Yes, y'all. So one of my cousins, like, even when me and Quita went vegan, I was telling him about it. He was like, man, you crazy. Like, now me and this cousin, we closer than any other family that lives in this state. I got another cousin that lives in Florida. Me and him closer in age. He like uh, three years younger than me. But his thought path, he looks like he he, he favored me a little bit. Yeah, he do. It's and, weird. And his me and him started growing our hair out at the same time. But that is reason. your first cousin, though, right? Because that's dad, your mama's brother. His dad is my first cousin. Oh wait, that ain't your mama's brother. Eric nah. ain't your mama. Okay, my bad. Eric is my first cousin. My bad. Glow is my mama's first cousin. Right. Okay. My bad. So his son, me and his son think 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 a lot a lot. Um, oh. We have a greater understanding than the rest of the family, which I was talking to my cousin about this meat stuff, and my cousin was telling me how I sound crazy. Uh oh. But I guess my cousin had came across this Dick Gregory. Um, my cousin had came across this Dick Gregory uh, documentary that's on Showtime. And he said when he watched it, it kind of pushed him away from meat. It helped them understand what I be talking about and uh, how they feed the meat. Now, it's one thing to eat a pig, but if the pig just ate shit the whole time he was growing, then you really eating shit, you know? So once he once he saw the, I guess, the documentary, he, he called me and was like, cuz, this shit crazy. Like, I didn't know that that's, that's what you've been talking about. And I was like, yeah, look at me. Every time I talk about that to you and the rest of the family, y'all be telling me how crazy I am or telling me to shut up or y'all don't want to hear it. Oh, y'all going to still eat y'all pork. I ain't stopping nothing. I'm not. It'd be a whole lot of stuff, y'all. I, I don't understand. What do they think? Like, if a person just out of the blue came to you to tell you something like, hey, this is for your health. It's not for my health. I'm telling you this because I love you, obviously. And then you tell them and they just reject it and tell you that you sound crazy. You'd be like, what the freak? What are y'all talking about? You sound crazy. I mean, y'all sound crazy. And they'll be in cahoots with each other talking about me. Because when I start, if I get around family members, I can't help but start helping them with information because I can already see their situation and where they lacking at. If I can look, if I get close enough to a person to understand their whole situation, I can begin to get them information and help them out of their situation, no matter who it is, family more so, because at that point, we always gonna have to interact. So I don't care about how you feel for real about me at that point, because we supposed to be loving. It's supposed to be love. We supposed to be here for each other, not against each other. So I start talking to them, but age range from 80 all the way down to 38, I sound crazy. Except my cousin that's about to turn 30. He watched the documentary, and he seen that people been trying to tell us not to eat that stuff, and yeah. Now he understands, so now the next time we probably have a family occasion or something like that, because they, they, they hate to see me. They hate to see me. Because every time we have something, first off, I already don't want to be there. Be I hate to say this like that, but every time my family want to get together, they want to use a, a, a glut. They want to make it a glutton situation where they got to cook a lot of food and force it down their throat. Now, first off, if you're supposed to use food to just survive, not to, you're not supposed to celebrate with food, first off. Now, that's... That's a dead given, but if you was raised different, you wouldn't understand that. What do you mean by food is supposed to help you survive? So you're supposed to eat to live, not live to eat. Put it like that. So I'll already be kind of like, 
Y'all don't even understand what y'all doing. Y'all celebrating, but what are you celebrating with? So, they, I go into spills like that when I get around, and they don't be trying to hear that. They don't, they already be I tell free. Carlos to save his breath. They be like, oh, Lord, here go Carlos. Here, here he go, we Carlos. Are you in. done? Are you done, Carlos? I be like, am I done? I'm just getting started. Y'all still, yeah. what are y'all, like, it be crazy, but. Yeah. I hope y'all can help y'all family. That's why I'm having my own family. Cause I'm like, you know what? Y'all going to die off of sickness and all this other stuff. And what's going to be left? I might as well go ahead and get started on what's left. And make sure they doing it right. That's when my cousin Corey, the one I was just telling y'all about to stay in Florida. See, he on that doing it right path. He thinking. He understands. And that brings happiness to me. Because that lets me know that the generations to come, his gener the kids that he gonna produce, the kids that I'm gonna produce, like the kids my other cousin Rashad gonna produce, we're gonna have them kids on the right path. And it won't be no it won't be no turning back to no wrong path from here on out. So kinda ready for the rest of the family to just go ahead and duck out of here. I hate to put it like that. I'm a really <laughs> Oh my God. Now, I try to be nice to him, help him out. Carlos. When they said I'm crazy. So now it's like, okay, you're the problem. You know what I'm saying? What do we do with problems? We solve them. Solve the problem. Have your own family. Uh, get off my pee. And my make sure. Room. I ain't saying duck out of here. I'm saying either they're going to change, fix their way, or, or keep it pushing. Like, it ain't much you can say. Like, you just. Carlos said it's time to replace that, that generation of people. Hey, Auntie Maddie just stepped in the room. Christy, where you at? Christy. Auntie Maddie, did you see the stroller? Hey, the Auntie Maddie, seat? how you doing? I just seen her. Hey, uh, she just said, hey, she just waved. Yeah, don't, yeah, I'm too blunt. I'm sorry. I, I jumped out of my... They all seen the other loafs. So right, take that back. Take that back. The other loafs is done with it. Yeah. Yeah, Charmaine, you know what time it is. We're going to start a new... This is what they said they did in the Bible. <laughs> they said that what God did. He was like, y'all getting this shit wrong. I'm going to just flood the earth. No, pack the shit up. Take take what you can. And... Oh, what'd she say? What'd she made just say? <laughs> oh, wow. That's actually what I want to... Would you like to call? What'd she say? Not she said yet. no, she just signed on. We're gonna oh, show okay. It well, it's right here. You're going to show it to her? Get up, man. Come on, man. Hey, don't stop. Hey, what more do you need help? <laughs> oh, my gosh. What do you need help for getting up? Look, Auntie Maddie. Oh, ain't it so cute? Uh-oh. Wait, you got to start it at the bottom. What does it say on the side? Rebel. Yeah, Rebel. She got a jogger stroller with it, Auntie Maddie. It was supposed to get here Monday. I know, but it came early. Came early. Pat came early. Here's his little car seat. Show the interior. Wait. Let me roll over here. You need to show that. Now quit playing. Will that over here. Yeah. So you can get that interior on there. And just lean it a little bit. I'm going to show the car seat. Okay, his car seat. Look at that, auntie. Look at what we got. want to tell you, Aunt Maddie, if you, you ain't married... You know what I'm saying? We come down she here. she is. Didn't I tell oh, you that? She is married. Tell your husband, come on too, man. <laughs> you can stay in the house. <laughs> oh, my God. You a trip. Look at that, auntie. We really appreciate you. This is what we got. Show them how you With bust your the beautiful move. love donation. Show them how you bust the move when you pull up. Pull up sideways. Skirt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he getting stuck on his, on his swing. I pull up sideways, baby. But this is beautiful. I am so happy. This is the one that I wanted. Got pockets in there for him so he can put his stuff in there, his toys. Yeah, he hide him a little toy on the side right there. Check him out in the back. Look down there and check on him. Yeah. Hey, Tank him butt stuff, boy. Oh, that's you down there. Okay. <laughs> Got the cup holders. Cell phone holder, okay. Prop it up, listen to my music. Oh, that's where okay. that phone was at. Bye-bye. I got a phone for sale. I know y'all like them droids. It's got a, a, a um, headphone piece, too. This is a nice 
And then this for his stinking butt stuff bottle and cup. If y'all want to buy y'all a nice S. S9 Plus. Now let me stop. Let me stop. His cup holder. But it's going to grow with him as he gets yeah. bigger. I love this so much. Yeah, we just gave you a personal tour, Auntie Maddie. Personally. Yep. Yeah. Because you're the reason that we were able to purchase this. Yes, you were. I always say it's dead. Oh. Lord, I've been neglecting my plants. I got to get my plants some water, baby. Oh, it did. Okay, I, I completely wiped this phone. The house is slowly filling up though with his stuff. Yeah, we almost had a room. It, the house is it's definitely filling apartment, up. You know, we're getting robbed here. I swear, if we ain't break that last lease, I'll break this lease because I be feeling like you and know, my homeboy stay in a, a, a more expensive city and, I, and he was telling me how much he paid for his nice two-bedroom apartment and i was like we're paying more here than we did there man i pay the same amount as you we what paying, did you do that at? we pay more here than we did there and that's I what makes believe you that. get the get the phone in the building. Ma. yeah hey ma look she, done, she just missed it you just missed it miss sharon look ma Look what Auntie Maddie got for Tink Him But Boy Stuff. Tink Him But Boy Stuff. Ain't that cute? She said it's nice. In his car seat. Yes. But yeah, we don't have no room in here. We're definitely running out of room. Yep, yeah, we're gonna have to move in with you, Miss Sharon. Get ready. We coming. I told her don't get rid of the penthouse because we might be going there yeah. for our last month. You and Ron got that house in, looking real in nice. In North Carolina. Real nice just for you. We're going to take the house. We're going to take the apartment that you got up in the high side of town. <laughs> in the high side of town. Yeah, the high side of town. Right. We're going to take that on, baby. Yeah. Oh, cause I I I fell. Miss Red fell going down the steps, Mom. I this morning. Well, I didn't fall. I caught myself, but I still scraped my uh, you face. You know what up. time it is, Miss Sharon. She got out of line. She got out of hand, and I had to. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't get hurt. My stomach didn't touch the wall or the ground. I was trying to hold my things and keep my things intact, but it's all right. I um, I definitely am gonna start needing Carlos to come help me in the mornings, bring my stuff down to the car. Yeah. Cause I could barely lock the door in the morning. I'd be like, Carlos, get it up, come lock the door for me. But um, yeah, it's okay though. I just got this on here cause I don't want no raw meat just hanging out on the camera. This raw meat just hanging out for the people to see. I'm just laid open. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know my my wounds heal pretty good. So it might not even be there when you see me again. Are we going to YouTube? Yes, I am definitely clumsier now. It's the stomach. Because walking up and down them steps ain't no joke. Like... I hate going up and down the steps. Like, I wish, like, heck, we had an elevator. Uh -oh. But then it's like, okay, Quita. The Shay said, don't play Carlos. This is some, this is, right, don't, period. Y'all know I don't play. Psh, psh. It's Quita, don't, don't it's play okay no games. It's okay for me bus games. Y'all know I ain't finna put my hands on her. Y'all yes. know I wouldn't do that. Carlos, love to show out. It it's his favorite thing to do. I'm an empath. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hurt black women. I don't. I'd and that's crazy because I thought I was taking my time, but the sandals. It's the shoes. I think that I had on. Well, I ain't have on sandals today. I actually wore my Crocs. She be flopping around. But you know the Crocs are a little bit thicker, and if you walk on the Croc wrong, it can kind of make you trip for it a little bit. I can't even tell you what happened. I just know I wasn't trying to drop my lunchbox in my drink. That's what. That, she, <laughs> she, she was telling y'all that. Um, 
dogs be coming up to me and stuff like that, it's because dogs, dogs can sense empathy. Dogs don't have toes, baby. They can sense an empathy, though. So what happened you know when I got works? bit in the face? What that dog sense? That dog is a mutt. Carlos, mm. most of these dogs are genetically created. They're they not, are. Most of these dogs are not mutts. The only real animal is a wolf. The domestic animals that you see were genetically created. Understand that. Breed it with certain things to be what they are. Alright, but then you could you could get a, a strong you could get a strong um breed or something. You can get a strong breed or something. And then if you get a strong breed or something and got a weak breed or something else and you mix that, then you put out something stupid. That's what dogs, you got uh, dogs serve no real purpose. Well, they had a dog that was lost in your house. Domestic dogs. Who like, else? In Pinky House. Yeah, but okay. that dog, I don't know How what dog get happened. Do I'm dogs, about to remind the dogs, dog of somebody. Do dogs leave their owner? No, not All right, really. Then. All right, then. So either somebody got rid of her ass on purpose for a reason, or the dog was retired. Either way, the dog was retired. You're stupid. Nobody what getting rid of head? nice dogs. What happened? You scraped your head too. Yeah, you, you fell, you scraped your me. head. Yeah, you seen, you know you hit me. <laughs> yeah. Put her hands all on my Carlos forehead. fell and scraped his head too. Yeah. Nah, my, what happened? Y'all know my cousin was cutting my hair. I had to stop letting him cut my hair. Every time I get out the chair, I got razor marks and shit on my face. No, I was right like, look. Right here. Oh, right, right where? In the middle. It's right here. You got scraped. No. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay. I'm she, fine. She is fine. Just got a little scraped up a little bit. My kneecaps, my stomach didn't even touch the, the ground or the wall. I don't know how I did that. Like, it was like I just kind of, it was weird. But I'm glad that that's it. And I bust the inside of my lip and I got a little... Bust right here too. Bust my lip. I didn't know Queen looked so much like her mama until we went to that cookout and she was standing beside her mama. I was like, dang. Right, I told you. That's how it is. If I'm standing next to my mama, it's like, oh my gosh, she got wow. A big head. But then if I'm standing yeah, next my to my sister, thought, it's like, wow. My first thought was, dang, Queen got a big head. And then. Nobody look, asked you. I look at the shape of Miss Sharon's head. I was like, wow, that's like a medium big head. <laughs> Carlos, Ma, are you still on here? Do you hear Carlos? This is starting to make sense. Babe, you ain't got hold of that. Just say the word and I'm going to rip him out. I was like, this is starting to come along. Make sense to me now. So then, what, Miss Sharon had turned to the side and I looked at Queen's face and they almost got the same jawbone line and all that stuff. And I was like, wow. Wow. And I'm just trying to figure out why you think that that's okay for you to be trying to act like, wow. What? No, we ain't that one look that much like. Talking about the same jawbone. Same, this right here, y'all got the same? Boy, I got this, my daddy's head. Yeah, for real? Yes, this is my well, daddy's head. your mom head. and your daddy must be brothers or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's showing out. Yeah, I do need to be more careful though. I'm, I'm about to start settling down. But the fact that I'm still working... And I only got two months left. I'm proud of myself that I have not been bedridden or in one of those, you know, one of those women that can't Cause some move women, like they, like, they you know. They go to the show. They be like, look, I but no, got I'm pregnant. pretty active. He gonna have to take care of me regardless. I'm finna sit down. I'm finna eat good. I ain't then Carlos eat. gonna tell me that I need to call out of work today when I hurt myself talking about you just need to call out of work i said no i'm not doing that right i'm like, like it's okay you got too much going on he I'm like you need to come then gonna text me I'm while i'm at work sleep. talking about you coming I'm asking to, me am i coming back i'm trying to sleep <laughs> and you asking me to get up he asking me am i coming back home i said no i'm not coming i'm gonna be all right i'm gonna just chill put this band-aid on yeah. and just chill for the day Then he gonna say, well, if they don't let you come home, even if you lose your job, it's okay. Why is this? <laughs> it is. I be thinking about worst case scenario. I said, if I lose my job, I'm not going to lose my job because I just had a little incident, sir. 
I was thinking, I do not want to be back in the position of not working. No, sir. Y'all, he's something else. Talking about even if you lose your job, it's okay. <laughs> what? Yes. But yeah, I do need to, um, I'm still learning my body. This man should say Sharon gonna get me. Yeah, she gonna get him because he in here talking junk. Hey, she know where I stay at. And I, ooh! Look at him, he's still showing out, mom. Suck it, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suck it, suck hey, it you now. Know I'm gonna play. The old people say, oh, suck it, duck it. Oh, suck it, duck it. Suck it, duck it. Suck it, duck it. Suck it, duck it. Yeah. That what they say? Mm-mm. Suck it, duck it. Oh, suck it, duck it now. My lips feel like they dry. I can't even say Cali. Cali? Is that what she is? That's what. Bye bye. 0772. Okay, talk to you later. Uh -oh, Have a good Ms. night at work. Uh oh, Miss Maddie, I was hoping we take you on a date before I lose my life now, so you gotta hurry up. You gotta hurry up, Miss Maddie. <laughs> you ain't gonna lose nobody's life. Miss Maddie says she's gonna, <laughs> gonna lose my life talking junk. <laughs> okay. If I lose my life, Miss Maddie, you can't get your gift. Okay? Now we trying to get something nice going for you. We really appreciate Carlos it. Carlos talking about now we you need to fly you gift. out here. Now you can't get your gift because you're gonna say something. And crazy. take you to a five star dinner. I said a four star. You know, I'm oh. too. <laughs> <laughs> We got four star, we got three star you money, but we'll, we'll jump out for the four. Now, if, if, if it's five and they discount that day, we go to the five and we do something there, but we want to take you out to eat this, man. To the four star, you stink to the four star. Leave me alone. Carlos ain't got no sense. <sighs> I think Miss Christina E, she's meant to put 420, she put 520 on there. Happy 420, Miss Christina. Carlos, that is not what she meant. Oh, for real? That's Lachey's name. Oh, 520. Okay. I got you. <laughs> see what I'm saying? No, nah, I'll just mess up what you mean. This roof said it ain't that serious. Me too. I still, I really did appreciate you. I told that Queen, I told Queen that myself. That, uh, I said we might have to, uh, this roof out the eat. He sure did. Uh, what we about to do for the rest of the night, baby? You already know what you about to do. We about to go lay down. <laughs> we about to go get in the bed, y'all. For real. Oh, Shell, you're headed to the beach. Well, where are you going so I can pull up? Can I just, I'll make a pallet on the floor. I won't bother nobody. Just what beach are you going to, Auntie Shell? So I can just come and I'll bring, I, you know, my own food. I just need to, you know what I'm saying? I'll stay out y'all way. Y'all, it'll be like I'm not even there. My pallet going to be nice and neat. In the corner. Okay. I'm not even going to keep it in the corner. I'll keep it in the car. And we'll bring the blow-up mattress, and we'll be out the way. But just tell me what beach. Ugh. I really, I told Carlos, I said, I really want another beach trip before we have the baby. And my family talked about doing a family trip down there, and we could Airbnb and, you know, bring the food to cook it. <sighs> but I don't know. I'm hoping that this happens before we have the baby. That would be perfect. But I know we have spent so much money. You know, I'm not trying to do too much. Ooh, Folly Beach, Charleston, South Carolina. That's the couple's beach. For real? Charleston is the couple's town. I don't care what nobody say. Gosh, I love it down there. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you enjoy and have a good time. They got any attraction down there? I'm definitely going to wish I was there with you the entire time. Now, we're going to try to go to a beach whenever everything get back. 
back in perspective. But I'm, I'm, Carlos was just Ain't saying nobody too trying to go on no beast trip and come back broke. I don't know where the hell they do that at, but. <laughs> they do that, do that though. People do it. Spend all your savings on a trip and then come back and it's time to pay bills. We love you too, Miss Mary. I ain't for that. Oh, see, they're celebrating her 14th anniversary. Congratulations. Y'all been together 14 years. He been taking, he been putting Are y'all having like a, a an event? Gotta be a good lady if it's been 14 years. Cause Are y'all going to have like an event? I can't go in nobody's event looking like this. I'm going to have to put some makeup on to make it blend in with my skin complexion over the band-aid. Oh, they do have band-aids that are your complexion and like skin tone band-aids. But congratulations, that's so beautiful. Hey, Lynn. Aw, well, I hope y'all enjoy. That's going to be so much fun. And happy anniversary. He's sitting back. He is sitting back. He's chilling. He's more like over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're going to eat and shop. That's nice. Yeah, you say you're going to shop. For, we're going shopping with you. Oh, that's fancy. I like shopping. See, when you get older, that's all. You just need the simple things. It's the simple things. Now, I told Queen, we want to go to the beach so we can... um. Sleep with the back doors open. Sleep with the doors open to the beach. Oh, that's beautiful. And go to the masseuse. Well, you have fun. We want to go to the massage parlor two times. We want to go to the beach for three days. Two of them days we need to be at somebody's massage table. And then maybe, you know, walk on the third day. I don't know. Maybe she shouldn't be pregnant because she can't walk far when she's pregnant. Well, Carlos, we can get a, um, we can rent the, the golf carts. Oh, yeah. Like you know they got the golf cart rentals. So we stay on that end. We stayed on the last time. We could do the golf cart rentals and then just take the golf cart to the close proximity places. Right? Mm -hmm. But I really want to go to this beach in Georgia. I can't think of the name of it. What's it called, baby? Savannah? Yeah. I think that's what it is. Savannah Beach. It's like not far. It's like at the edge of Georgia. I think one of the subscribers said they stayed right there at that beach. For real? But that's the beach I really wanted to go to. I can't think of the name of it right now. But it's in Georgia. Now that's nice. I want to go there. It was beautiful. That stuff making me thirstier or something. Making you thirsty. It's time for me to go get my feet done, but I'm trying to wait till next week. I'm going to wait till next week to go get them done. Because I've been spending money on the event this week. Shell, Shell says that man married at home when she was 19. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. If yeah, you can for make real. Through, through the, uh, the early. Them early. That's early years. So if he married you at 19, he knew you was the one, number one. Steve and said, then number two, y'all touched Steve it out. He said they grilling at his house if we want to pull up. You want to? That's food. And I love his wife's cooking. She got the rice and beans like that. Ask them what they fixing so we can bring something if we need to. But they be doing rice and beans and chicken and all kinds of stuff. This is what I was telling y'all about. My man Steve, he got his lady from DR, the DR. Dominican Republic. Carlos wants Dominican. us to go to the Dominican Republic and get us a, a, a another wife. And I told him absolutely not. Just make not. her cook. We make we give a citizenship. Unless she's gonna be Haitian, she got to be black. Oh, Haitian. Carlos, we're gonna give, not, her, we're gonna give her a citizenship, and in turn, all we want is nice meals, and you know, flashes sometimes, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. No, he's not. Nice Y'all see how serious? <laughs> nice meals. Nice meals. <laughs> Cook, cook up some of that good old them beans and that rice. Oh my gosh, Carlos. Oh, he's showing out. Did y'all just hear him? I had to tell Carlos, I'm not getting no, we not getting no extra wife unless she black. We procreating. That's what we doing here. I ain't trying to create no baby with the you know, Mexican on, but y'all see, I look kind of Mexican. I don't know you what You talking about flashes on. from time to time. You is showing out. Well, what if I am Mexican? Carlos, shut up. I don't know. 
Yeah, I do. The way I say Carlos, you know, the way I say that is so so fluent. Or, or certain words, you know, well, even when I was in school and learning Spanish, I got a tongue for Spanish words. I don't know how that works, but they just roll off. Well, my mama would think you from Dubai, so. Cayente. 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 He's trying to mix. He's shut trying up. to make shut up with sit down. Cayete. 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 Cayete la boca. Cayete la boca. Shut your mouth. You talking to me, I said. You know what I'm saying? She oh, I, my God. Only a Mexican say some shit like that. <laughs> you, you talking to me? Huh? You, you talking to me, I said? Look at to... Carlos. Has been... Carlos, please See, stop. I'm just saying, might, might, might mix. Stop it. Might be the right mix. I'm trying to get him to stop while he ahead, y'all, but he don't have no chill. Nah, don't do me like that now. Don't do me like <laughs> what y'all saying? Don't do me like that. Oh! New moon tonight, somebody said. It is a new moon, and last night I had me a nice little bath. Lynn thing. said Tibby Island. Yes, that's Tibby Island. I caught the live. That's late. it. That's exactly what where I want to go. Uh oh, Danae. Danae want to know what happened to her face. Danae pretty much, she fell. You to seen him moving in there, Lachey? Trying to be super mom. You seen him moving. He do be shifting. Last night he was going crazy, wasn't he, baby? I got him on video. Usually mm -hmm. he don't move during the video, but last night he was like, uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was busting. He was going in. Yeah, that's my man. She ready it was like he was there. standing up. And then I laid back on my back, but I had pillows to prop me up. And when I tell y'all, it was like he used his feet or something and was pushing like, my stomach was in a cone. It was in a knot. Like, at the top, like this. I said, girl, help me get up, please. I got to get up. He was hurting me so bad. Woke me up out of my sleep. In there pushing farts out. <laughs> <laughs> I got over there. I was like, hey. Oh, my gosh. You're stupid, Carlos. Man, I said too much. <laughs> See, you went on ahead and described it. I don't care. It was 928. I lift the covers up. The next thing I know, all I can <laughs> No, that's not funny. It's the fiber gummies that give me gas. Mm. No, yeah, I've been taking my fiber gummies, but the thing told me, though, if you start taking these and they cause you to have gas or probably, bloating, probably them up to stop them taking them. So yeah. I haven't took any since then, but I've been, like, you know, kind of gassy a little bit. And lead most them. of the time, I try and get up and leave the room. Leave them up alone. But I didn't feel like getting up last night. So I had tucked the cover underneath myself just to trap it. And Carlos came and got in the bed by Fast, one motion. <laughs> what the fuck? Shut up. Too bad a fart don't come with a warning sign. <laughs> like a wet floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shut yeah. up. In a tent of poop. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but a tent. I didn't mean, I didn't know he was going to pull the covers back and be trying to get up in the bed. He right. don't usually get in the bed. He'll get on the game or sit in the computer chair. I wasn't expecting that. You talking that. about me getting on the game like I be on the game all the time or something. You get on the game every day? No. Okay, Carlos. I'm sorry. You don't want to me your business. About the game. The CIA might be watching. They might try to recruit me right. through my video game. Mm -hmm. Right, because you do so good. My expertise on video games, they might try to recruit me. I ain't mm -hmm. trying to get that kind of recruitment. Right, okay? right. Trying to keep this simple. Simple dimples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is we going to go eat? Steve didn't text me back. What time? Well, he gave us an invite, so that and means we did watch Tomorrow there. War. That was crazy. But I guess if we was going to have a Tomorrow War, I guess the people would already be back by now asking us to come. I'm pretty sure this is the smartest generation, so probably would need us then. They're not really calling us right now, so it's just a movie. But yeah, I did watch that movie. Call us shut up. You remember that movie? Tomorrow War? Uh-uh. Where they had to go into the, the people from the future. The guy was took it from his daughter, and then when he went to the future, it was his daughter was the leading commander of the army, and they was trying to find a cure, or he fell asleep. I don't remember. No, you was up. I don't know, baby. I, I don't know. They was fighting aliens. 
And then they found that they went back to the past and found where the aliens was in the ice. All right, but y'all ain't gonna keep explaining. It sounds like the Mandalorian. Nah, it's not. If they was in ice and those spiders came in was trying to attack the ship. No, the spiders <laughs> is inside of the ship. And, and baby, um, what's his name? Hmm? What's his name? The green thing. Yoda. Baby Yoda. It's not Star Wars, baby. It's Tomorrow War. No, then I don't know, baby. I don't remember. Yes, Miss Ru Miss Maddie, we've seen that Tomorrow War. That was a pretty good movie, understanding. Let us know there might be uh, something here waiting to unthaw. And we just unthawing the hell out the world right now, ain't we? Oh, I just love this so much. Uh, I'm just going to wear it for now. Yeah. Like he got it on. Yeah. Miss Pat had got that for us. Yes. No. Oh. That's nice. I just love all his stuff. Hmm. I need to wash his things. Where James at? We ain't seen Uncle Lion today. He did come in, didn't he, earlier? That was his wife, right? Yeah, I seen his wife, but he didn't hop on here earlier. I seen some jeans in the building. Somebody posted some jeans up, so he had to have came in here for a second. No, I don't think I seen James in the chat. Happy anniversary there. Oh, my gosh. I love this so Tony much. G. Tony G in the building. TV Island. Yes, I want to go to Tibby Island so bad. Y'all, I'm going to just act like he's in this right now. Silly Mom said... Just act like y'all don't see me. Silly Mom said she loves the name Zarlos. Zarlos? Hey, you better stop it. <laughs> you better stop it. Stop nah, it, stop it's it. actually kind of cute. Zarlos is actually kind of cute. That ain't Spanish. That, that's got to be American. I mean, you don't know nobody named Zarlos. Exactly. So that is definitely very creative. It's American. That's a star seed name. That's not American. Call it shut up. Zarlo sounds like it is cosmic. But she had typed the wrong thing. Aww, take him but stuff. She said, watch how the baby get gassy when you eat greenery. That be breast milk is the truth. Uh-oh. Okay. Man, I ain't ready for that. Teach his ass how to say, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> let me know. Carlos, shut up. You gotta let me know, like son. You, you can't just fart. You can't tell him what there. you can't tell him what to do. You can't fart and leave it there. Cause when you do it, you, you already smell like we it. already smell like a baby. Even if you alarm yourself, it'd be like, why are you an adult having poop that girl smell like by, this? Girl, by them gummies got you childish as hell. <laughs> yeah, your poop childish as hell. That's what I'm saying. Yo, you smell like a black kid <laughs> with them gummies. Ooh, it's painful. Carla, shut up. It smells toxic when it first hit the nose. Just shut up. And it don't get bad. You know how some poops you, woo, and then, you know, you, you know, you be in the smell, it cool, you know, all right, going, nah, not this one, nah. Yeah, I'm ready to start setting up his nursery, so I really think I'm about to start. Well, I'm um, going to say Zalos is a, is a good, is a good name. I'm ready like, to start setting up his nursery, so I really do think it's about time that we start working out. We need a bigger some, apartment, y'all. If y'all know, if y'all got stuff. connections and y'all can help us out of this, let us know. No, Miss Maddie just gave me some connections. I told oh, you about okay. the yeah, house, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm going to yeah. wait. You're going to wait. I told you what my plan was. You got to break this lease. This thing, I'm starting out. Bro, this I'm apartment. not breaking my lease. I'm trying to find somewhere to do sit-ups. I paid apartment. too much to get in here. Carl, shut up. That's, Stop talking right, about it. That's why we ain't breaking the lease, because of how much we paid for the deposit. There it goes. I'm trying to get that back. That's a nice, that's a nice little lump sum back. They said film for us. I will film the nursery um set up. I sure will. What you got in here? I had to open this up the other day for boots. Oh yeah. Oh, this is his stuff that oh, um 
Boots. We got from Auntie Linda and some books that we got from some of them. Oh, boots, are good. Boots was showing out. Yeah. Um, is Karen still on here? That's having a baby. Thirty-two weeks. Are you still on here, Karen? I have a question. No, I don't even pass gas. Yeah. So you know, I don't. No, I don't do none of that. Now, you know what I'm saying? When it's time to go to the bathroom. He's a damn liar. I'm sorry I have to come with that type of chatter. But uh, he's lying to y'all. Maybe a little bit. Maybe <laughs> a little gas here and there, but. Yeah, it is a little here and there, but like, he doesn't damn, really you know what I'm saying? have so, gas. Not like me. So, you know. I've been killing this lately. I don't know what's going on. I think you know, it's the fruit, though. I eat a lot of fruit. You know what it means when you pass gas. Now, don't be holding that stuff in you. And I don't hold mine for nobody. Oh, don't hold that in you. It's a lot you ain't supposed to do, but you ain't supposed to do that. I think I'm going to leave this out with his car seat. His stroller. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to put this in the bottom of his stroller. Uh-oh. That's the first time something that went to the bottom of the stroller now. <laughs> no, we about to do, we about to go out there and set up. I'm a, well, I know I am. I don't know. Carlos might come with me, but I am going to put his... Go ahead and put his car seat in the car because we don't have room in here for these things. So I'm going to put his car seat in the car and I'm going to go ahead and put his stroller in the back. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's doing too much because hey, we need I thought that it was cool. Let me tell y'all a story. When I was in boot camp, uh, we, see, so that food run through you know, that they have. You know, it's a little cheaper. They got a lot of people to feed. So, you know, they get it for a good price. But that stuff made us gassy, right? And we'll just let it off anywhere. But I guess Africans have like a different... They live different than we do in America. So a person, if you pass gas in public in Africa and certain in like Cameroon, because I remember specifically this guy was from Cameroon, and every time a person fart, he'd be like, he get like intensely mad, like, you guys are so so disrespectful, so so rude, so rude, and uh, and uh, I had to you know stop the accident. I had to stop and ask him why he feel like that. I'm like, man, we could just pass gas over here. But he had just literally came from Cameroon, like some kind of way they got this recruitment program for other countries to where they could pick up Africans and Mexicans and Chinamen and all this other shit and bring them back here and grant them citizenships as per they finish their term that they supposed to serve. So he was just telling me like, if you do that in public in Cameroon, Everybody around you will whoop your ass. There ain't, oh no, there ain't no farting in public. If you fart in public and somebody hear you or smell you, they on your ass. How did they know it was you? I start pointing. Nah. It ain't. He was like, um, you go to the bathroom. Everyone's taught to go to the bathroom when you need to. And you, what? Something just crawled in here. What? Carlos, don't play with me. Yo, I know my eyes is not freaking tripping. It's a butt. Oh, he right here. Wait a minute. He on the outside, Carlos. It's a clear spider. You got to find him. For real. Pick the bag. Up. Nah, we ain't gonna just pick the bag up now. We gotta. We need light. Pick the bag up. This is why we got to get this stuff out of this corner right now. Carlos, he's on the floor now somewhere. Well, he got on the floor and on me. You could make me have a heart attack. I was trying to see, see if I saw something at first. Oh, my gosh, Carlos. He's, I can't get up. I can't move as fast right now. Can you please help me? Well, he Let's make sure he's not over here. He's going now. Wait. Help me get my phone couch. Oh, no. Nah. He probably on the Wait, couch. Wait, just make sure. He probably on the couch. <laughs> just make sure he's not crawling into the carpet. He's on the carpet somewhere. Baby, he was quick. Why did you th throw that like that? <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. It's a spider. I don't really fool spiders. And, you know, Charlotte Wilkes. In my baby stuff. I was trying to organize his stuff so I could put everything together, but. I'm surprised you ain't see it. No, now I'm nervous. Oh, that's the other thing about this place, y'all. Spiders are everywhere. This place got here. so many daggone spiders. <laughs> I'm like, now they just sent the pest control in here the other day. I was like, how did he miss all the spiders outside? What is he doing? 
What kind of pest control is they calling? They calling the wrong people or something? Cause we ain't got roaches. We got a spider problem. You walk outside, it's a web. You get down the steps, it's a web. You walk into the car, it got I'm about to vacuum, little wing worms, little wing worms flying from the trees and shit, man. Wing yeah. worms. Look, whatever the worms is, <laughs> silkworm. silkworm <laughs> them things that drop off in your head and start nesting and all that stuff. So, yeah, this place, I'm, I'm sick of these apartments, honestly. I ain't even Oh, my gosh. Carlos, this... please. Get the vacuum. Nah. We about to have to go because now I got to them. clean my house I up. smashed them when, it, when the bag hit the floor. I stepped on them. I seen them. I stepped on them. No, he is somewhere. I just don't want him to bite me if he got teeth. Oh, if he clear, he ain't going to bite you. Or some only, nippers. Only nippers. colorful spiders uh, poisonous. Okay, now we're going to have to clean up deeper. Yeah, we got to get behind I just cleaned up yesterday. Now I got to do it again. I'm going to have to move his stuff out of this corner because now that that spider was in that box, I can't tell you what else could have been in that. Baby, get that bag for me because I need to still put his stuff in there. All right, now. See no spider. He was on the inside when I seen him, though. Yeah, but he was crawling on the outside as soon as you said that he was coming back up around the top. Oh, he probably on me then. You need to check me. No, he was on my side. That's what I'm saying. When you dropped the bag. I'm sorry, y'all. You said his old lady got the rice and beans. Oh, what are we in there? As long as I got the rice and beans and that chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm in there. They ready now. Ask them are they ready for company now. And I'm not trying to stay long. I'm trying to eat, mingle a little bit, and get out of there. Because I'm tired. But I am down for the rice and the beans, baby. Oh, uh, Steve said he's 50 minutes away. So what? Okay, so when is the cookout then? Because it's about to be 8 o'clock now. Well, he's not 50 minutes away from his house. What, 50 minutes away from cooking the food? Mm -hmm. He probably like 40 minutes away from his house. Oh my gosh. I'm, my nerves are wrecked to pieces right now. I don't even want to put my feet down, baby. You're going to have to find him. But he dead. Dead where? Did you see him die? Did you kill him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I killed him. And I couldn't even get off this couch fast enough. For spiders can't do what? They can't survive. They can't survive. Uh, they toss that strong. You see how fast I threw that bag? That thing couldn't, couldn't have made it out of that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to clean his stuff up. <laughs> what they saying, baby? I need to go back to the line. I'm sorry, y'all. We forgot y'all was on here. We saw a spider. And I almost lost it. I can't wait. I'm going to have to get him a little book thing, too. So I'll be able to get that with the money. Y'all gave us all of the cards what? are in here. Well, it must be a lot of growth, a lot of birth, and a lot of transformation going on in this neighborhood. Because it's spiders everywhere. Everywhere. Too many spiders. Everywhere. Oh, that's trash. Oh, my gosh. Man. I be thinking that, um, oh my gosh, baby. Ah, uh, let's say so she almost threw an iPad. Did they see him? Because at this point, I don't know, but he crawled up out of that bag. Like, what the hell going on? I need to, um, I'm gonna have to clean this I'm area over something here. Swiftly going down, back down into the bag. He got my nerves so bad. He got my ankle. I know he was a spider. I Look at my ankle like, trying to swell. Goodbye. That's how bad he got me. <laughs> my ankle trying to swell. He um scared me so bad. Probably over here. No, he not over there. I just uh, I need him dead wherever he's at. And I'm about to be itching. Oh, that's to break my nerve for tonight. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna put this over here with his books, his stroller information, and I wrapped his little thing up in it. Y'all, well, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to get on, get on about my business now, cause I don't even want my feet to touch the ground. <laughs> but then if he hit the couch, I'm not gonna be able to get up fast enough to get out of here. I got to get up out of here. Man, what is Steve talking about? Because I'm getting hungry again. Oh, we did get that food, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Put that in the pan mm -hmm. and fry that up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, goodness, baby. We got to do something. I can't even grab the thing to see what, this, what the people saying. But that just scared me good. You want to bring to the phone? Yes. All right, you guys. Let me see. Uh oh. He's somewhere in here on the floor. On that gray shirt. But we about to go because I'm 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 I almost lost it. Right, break out the vacuum cleaner. That's what I'm saying. Oh snap! You didn't see this? What? It's right here. Drop. Oh okay. Boom. So he don't have to be in a recline. That is so cute. Come on, let's go take it out to the car. No. We about to go take his car seat to the car. That's yes, we are to about to do that because we need to get out this house. There's going to be too much stuff in the car. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm out here crusty and dusty. I mean, it's time for a nap. Need to kill these fruit we got some apple cider. We got to take care of them right now. That's because I need to go clean out my plants. What happened to the apple cider we had? It's up, up in the cabinet over there where the rice and stuff is at. All right, you guys. We love you so much. We will catch you all in another video really soon. But we got to get up out of here. Tell them bye, baby. Bye, loves and sweets. I hope y'all have a good day. Don't let nobody destroy your peace. Enjoy your peace. Enjoy life and love it. Oh, oh you're so sweet. Y'all know how I come. Oh, ain't he so sweet? Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. Bye. Love you guys. See you later. Ain't nobody peace. Take the peace. Keep the peace.